all right welcome ladies and gentlemen to another stream of king of retail i know all my king of retail fans are like holy crap it's back right absolutely absolutely but today guess what guess what i tell you something here today there has been an update yes well i don't know if it was today was it today what's today friday i think today <laughs> It was today, but there was an update uh, for the, the for King of Retail. So that we've been uh, going over or kind of like talking about with all these bugs and uh, kind of like over overloading systems and things like that. Like a lot of not good optimization. Oh my God, as I hit the microphone there. But um, I will go over uh, the update that was that came out today. Yeah, Friday, September thirtieth, version one point zero point zero point two is out so it says dear, dear retailers uh two weeks have gone after release and unfortunately some pesky bugs managed to slip into the latest version so my time has been spent on tracking them down and fixing them a hot fix was up uh, uploaded the day after release to address two major issues however that was not announced here uh so here are the following uh things that have been fixed issue where you lost huge amounts of money in campaign mode when hiring a daily manager so apparently that was a big issue. I had no idea that has been fixed. At least we'll see uh, issues where articles cross over from one type of a concept to another. Didn't have that issue because we didn't have multiple concepts as it was now. Not being able to leave the office whiteboard when pressing escape after using the computer. Kind of something similar to the uh, advertising thing, right? That we had collision to several displays that made customers run to close them. Sure. Lamps were not selectable when loaded into the game. Yeah. <laughs> um, some items could not be placed on shelved, even though a uh, shelf was added to fit the item. That was not spelled correctly, but all right. Yeah. Uh, bug regarding back to school achievement. Sure. Issue with not being able to select apply, uh, applications at the office. If it's a tutorial, there was like an application uh, bug where it duplicated people too, which I, I you know, Whatever it is. Issue with the game pausing after reading tutorial. Yeah, we did that one quite a bit. Tutorial for menu uh, clouds uh, spawned several times. Uh, lighting issues at the airport. Increased overall lighting at the end of the day office. That's very good. Um, increased uh, pricing limits on articles. Sure. Fixed box location on delivery guy. Saved orders were not properly loaded into the game. And last but not least, added community translation to the Italian language still a work in progress other than that that's pretty much everything that you need to really know about this new update that has come on and came through and that's that so with that being said ladies and gentlemen i guess what we're gonna do is just jump into the game and do what we need to do right absolutely i know i keep going in and out in and out of the freaking game here so let's go ahead and load us back into our giddy up here now okay right <laughs> okay um i'm just saying like there had been a couple bugs that we went through. Now, when it came to the daily manager, I'm really not sure, really not sure where, uh, where, where these miss funds have gone. That kind of makes me nervous, but I'm glad that we didn't have to worry about that ourselves. Hey, Jupiter, how you doing? Hey, Aliza, how you doing? How you doing, Aliza? Uh, Susan, how you doing as well? And cool, calm, cool, calm. How you doing? Cool, calm. Glitter and glam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you, dude. And hey. Derek M became a member. Derek M, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. Appreciate that. That was very generous of you. Thank you very much for becoming a member of the channel. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's. So we have two stores, by the way. If you guys didn't know, we do have two stores, and we're kind of working on what we have. Uh, go back to our second store because there's a lot that we need to do. Hey, Dexter, how you doing, Dexter? How's it going? Yeah. So um, here we go. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, it, it's just it, it is kind of like uh, it, it, I don't know it. it there's some bugs there that have been fixed, but I don't know if it really... I, I saw nothing about optimization. I guess optimization is just is what it is. Uh, bad thing here. Uh, we do not have any uh, product in. I hope to God we um, we ordered something. If we didn't and we're going to sit here all day today and not have anything, that's going to hurt my little, uh, my little uh, pistol. <laughs> uh, Durkham... Uh, it says, long time VOD watcher. Glad I found your channel for these lesser known games. Watch all of your seasons of King Arita. Oh, very good. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching all of the uh, all of the videos and all the other VODs and things like that. I do appreciate that. And thank you for the, so much for becoming a member of the channel and, and sharing your generosity with me. I do appreciate that a lot. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. Thank you and welcome too. welcome. I'm, I'm glad that, uh, you know, sometimes the lurkers are, 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 are out there and I just don't know about it. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hey, One Hand Media, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, hello, Kendar. Hey, hi, Kendar. Uh, tried the lights yet? I have not yet. I'm going to save myself until I unpack this 
freaking box. Once I do, um, I'm going to see what this light thing is all about, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll see where we're at as far as like uh, performance wise too today. See if there's anything that's going to be weird in this game or not. Like we have been having issues with this game all, all week, really all week. Uh, the other games we played on the channel, absolutely, we you know we haven't had any really issues at all. It's just this game. <laughs> this game is the one that we have been uh, <laughs> had in trouble with. Now we have Daryl here, which is cool. This is our new hire, Daryl. Um, I don't know, a salesperson. Yeah, I, I got a restock. I mean, it, 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 we're kind of running behind schedule here today. It is kind of it is what it is, but you know we're we're we're, we're soft opening, right? For the most part, soft opening. Hey, Susie T. How you doing, Susie T? Happy start of the weekend. Oh, yeah, that's right. Today is Friday. Well, maybe Saturday, wherever you are. But yeah, it is the weekend, isn't it? My days are y'all. I'm getting losing all my days. I tell you what, I am losing all my days. But yes, happy weekend, everybody. Absolutely. Hope you guys have some special plans this weekend. If not, then game it up this weekend. And if you're not gaming it up this weekend, why don't you go buy yourself that something that you've been eyeballing for the last two weeks? Hey, why don't you go do that? How about that? How about we do that? We do that instead. Maybe we do that. Maybe put gaming on a hold this weekend and just say, you know what? That one thing I want at Target, I'm getting it. How about we do that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know. Not everybody has a Target. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Dexter says, I've watched all 50, 150 episodes of season two and bought this game partway through, and now I'm back for more. Oh, yes, back for more indeed. It's one of those games that you could definitely like keep adding to, right? Keep, I mean, replay, replayability. I always stress that enough about games, and this game I feel like has a lot of replayability. And then when they add on top of that, where they're like, you know what, there's gonna be more content, we're gonna drop more content, uh, it's 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 good. It's, it's, it's all good eats for the most part, right? There is, you know, the pesky bugs that do get through and it does kind of break the games and maybe break your game files. And definitely I've seen that in the past during early access, but it still makes me come back. Like I've had to deal with pesky bugs in games before where it broke games and I just gave up on the game. But this game I've just never given up on. So there's that. Yeah. Hey, Farag Optimistic. How you doing, Farag? Good to see you. Uh, only plan for the weekend is vet appointments. Cat keeps getting respiratory infections. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. It's always scary going to the vet. I, 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 I it's a double-edged sword for me. I like going to the vet. I hate going to the vet. I like going to the vet to take care of my, my pet. <laughs> I hate going to the vet for what they have to tell me what's wrong with my pet. <laughs> Don't tell me what's wrong, even though, you know, it's like, yes, uh, there's probably something wrong, but like, I, 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 I don't want to know, but, but I do, I want to fix the issue. I, Double-edged sword, right? Absolutely double-edged sword. This game, this game and Smokable Flower Shop 3. Ah, yeah, there you go. Is what made me find your channel. Okay. All right. I like it. I like the, uh, I like the code name there. Very well. Very well. Thank you for the code name. I do appreciate that for his freaking YouTube policies and YouTube age restrictions. Excuse me. I appreciate the disguise uh, one there. By, by the way, I guess farmer tourists were something today. There's a ton of farmers in here. Yeah, <laughs> Carol. Hey, Carol. Carol Diaz says, I think I need a good computer for this game, but it will be worth it. It looks so fun. Yeah, yeah, it is fun. It is fun. It is definitely fun. Um, you will definitely get a lot of hours out of this game. If you like running businesses, I mean, there's it's hard to like really like compare this game to another game because I don't know. I don't at least to my knowledge, I don't really know if there's anything that really compares to, to this game at all. Um, and I love this kind of stuff. I mean, most of my life I, I, I worked in retail, you know? And I mean, I wasn't, it wasn't because I loved it. It was more or less because I had to do it. <laughs> but it's cool to see it, you know, translated into a game, of course. I want to have a restocker here, I think, maybe. I, I'd rather have a restocker here before a cashier. Yeah. Yeah, I have no lights here also. I, I have not tried out the lights. Uh, I, maybe I give them a shot. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little scared. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't want it to, like, make this game, like start running poorly and break it and do this and that and i think daryl's on a on a lunch break today or not today but this hour <clears throat> i'll let that guy sit there and wave his hands as daryl walks on out oh very good very good hey every time someone uh, comes into the store i think someone is at my front door is that the the, the ding dong the, is that the ding dong does the ding dong have the same kind of ringtone to your to your doorbell yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think I've watched almost 75% of your videos. Cool, calm. 75% of my videos. Look here. Look here. Listen. Ready? You ready for this? 
I have 1,800 videos on the channel. 75%? I don't even know what that number is. Hey, can you help me? <laughs> uh, and the bills. $50 for antibiotics all the time plus uh, the exam fee. I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Look, I had to go to the vet the other day, right? Because we have guinea pigs. Lord have mercy, the guinea pigs. And I, I've talked about this yesterday, how... Uh, we had an accident, or there was an accident to one of our guinea pigs, and to and to and to have the guinea pig pass away at the vet, it cost us a fortune. It cost us a fortune, but you know we had to pay it, and that is what it is. And now we have a cremation we had to pay for, and and good God Almighty, we I love that little guinea pig. That's what's at the end of my outros. You know the orange and white guinea pig, Peach. Her name was Peach, by the way. If you guys didn't know, her name was Peach. So yeah. Um, by the way, this is, uh, this is Kansas. And for, for, for most people that don't know, this is Kansas Shack. Kansas Shack is where this guy used to work back in the day. He used to work at Radio Shack. Excuse me. Very cool place. That's why I kind of made it based off of Radio Shack. But yeah, the vet highway robbery sometimes. <laughs> I tell you what. At least, I guess it depends on where you live, right? It does. In California over here, man, it's bumping. It's bumping some money out, right? Absolutely. Hey, Hellstorm, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. You want this kind of game? Yeah, this game is... You want a retail? You want to run your own retail? You can run a men's clothing store. You can run, run a grocery store. You can run an electronic store like we are with, like, gaming consoles, computer consoles, things like that. Or you can, uh... There's, there's, there's grocery, men's, shoes, high heels, women's clothing, lingerie. There's all different kinds of things in this game. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Sorry to hear that. Losing a pet sucks. My son has been wanting a guinea pigs, but half of my family is allergic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and is we have three. So we had four guinea pigs. Now we have three guinea pigs. Uh, but yeah, it is always hard losing a pet. No matter how um, how small the animal is, they, they they attach to your heart, right? They do attach to your heart. <laughs> and when something happens, it, it's, it's always hard. So like a few weeks ago, it was like towards the beginning of September. Man, it was it was a little it was it was hard. It was really hard. Some some streams I had to like, you know, I you could see it in my streams a little bit. I, I tried not to, uh, kind of like be in a mood, but like I I was I was I was having a hard time and I was uh, you know, trying to push through. But and I knew time will just heal things, and that's exactly what happened. Time did heal things overall. But I know we have Bella and Mercy. You know, we got our dogs and they're doing fine. They're doing fine. Um. You know, they they don't know and notice any difference. <laughs> they don't notice any difference of a of a lost family member in this house, but Danielle and I certainly do, of course. One hand media says I'm at forty percent of your all your videos. Is that right? Forty percent, my lord. Where are you guys getting these percentages? Is there like a calculator that I don't know about that you guys like have like you go through like three hundred and eighty three videos and they're like okay that is twenty one percent or thirty two percent. I appreciate the, the the watching of the viewing and the viewing of the watching of my videos. I do appreciate that. Shout out to all you guys. Absolutely for sure. <clears throat> so this is the problem, right? This is the problem. When it gets dark, it gets dark. And we have not been putting any lights in, really, because uh, we're afraid to. We're afraid to put lights in because when we've been playing this game since full release, we are very, very afraid that we have... <laughs> we have totally totally like will well, not not our fault but the frame rate man the frame the, the lights in this game are just so so damn hectic let's see here there we go i will try it out i will do it i will put it down we will see what happens if everything goes fine everything goes fine if everything goes haywire everything goes haywire like i said in the patch today they mention no things about optimization or anything like that to, to light. So we'll, we'll have to just figure it out as we go. However, we did pay our rent there. We paid our wages. Uh, how do we do overall for today? How much money did we make? Our projected profits are $811. I expect that to go down. Corporation fees looking about $1,800 as well. Definitely uh, expect that to go down. What breed is your Bella again? Oh, my breed of my Bella is a Dachshund. He's a wonderful little dachshund. Come on now. You know she's a dachshund. You know she's a dachshund. You know that. $5,200 for a minimum storage. Uh, yeah. That might be an issue. 
Uh, that's way more money than we were expecting. So let's see here. Let's see. Let's go with no PlayStations. We'll do no PlayStation 5s. <clears throat> and I guess that will be it. <laughs> 2,900. The PlayStation 5s is what really is holding us down. Those are pricey sons of guns, aren't they? Uh, we'll get rid of maybe a couple of keyboards. And then 2,700, we'll go ahead and send it right there. Uh, Coolcom says, now I think I watch 10%. See, now you, you're just throwing 10%, 40%, 75%. Hit me with the percent. My God. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I That will definitely jump into our projected profits here. Uh, we were sitting at $800. We're looking at $87 now. Corporation fees at $203. Um, it is what it is. But... We will be leveling up our store today, so we should be seeing more uh, popularity come through the store. I might I might buy some um, advertising to go along with it, yeah. Your minimum storage takes $18,000, so you must have a nice big store, nice juicy store, yeah. Hey, Sydney, how you doing, Sydney? Watch nonstop during the nighttime? Oh, very good. Thank you, One Hand Media. I appreciate that. I do, I do. Let's go... Um, and, oh, good God. That is a big one, isn't she? Isn't the, is it she? <laughs> That's a big girl right there. Uh, let's go right there. Computers, $746. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, please and no thank you. Now, let's let's test it out. Remember we, we done did this? We clicked the tutorial. We got all froze up. Let's see if it's fixed. Ready? It's fixed. <laughs> cool. I like it. Uh, let's go to a different size and we want to really actually look into techie um right is it tech no it's labors labors are our demographic here so the labor unit is looking at medium fashion medium wealth okay so medium fashion medium wealth medium fashion medium wealth which one is medium daily news okay so daily news the one we're already on let's do the medium uh, no, let's do the small advertisement. Let's bring in a small computer advertisement. And let's bring in a small mobile device advertisement. And let's have that go for one day. Because <laughs> that's all we can afford. Tomorrow. And that is it. Other than that, uh, our profits have now lowered to $19. And our corporation fee is going to get $45. Which is not bad because our other store is going to make up for that cost for the corporation as well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So let's move on. And this next day, we'll just level up our store. And when we level up our store, um, that will just bring in more customers over time. So it it might not seem like oh you're it might seem like you're you're hitting even right now, but the volume of people that will come eventually will change it all. There we go. <clears throat> bath and body work type store would be cool, or a bed, bath, and beyond store. That yes, uh, there. I think when you do groceries, you can sell, you can sell like toilet paper and stuff. I don't think you can sell towels and stuff. I don't know why I went straight to toilet paper when I found a Bed Bath and Beyond, but that's the that's the route I took right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, so something like that. That'd be like like we said, we talked about hardware stores. A Bed Bath and Beyond store would be kind of cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, let's go to the city real quick because we have all these uh, reputation points that we can spend, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend all this reputation points here at the no 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 at the hq please and thank you so uh just so you guys know also uh we sit at an hq where it gives us one concept and two stores so we're already at our max so if we want to expand our stores if we want to have a third store or we want to have a, like a new concept like a men's clothing store a women's clothing store or a grocery store we're gonna have to upgrade our hq as well uh, so when that time comes we'll definitely do it <clears throat> a dachshund I had to put my grandma's down two years ago. She had a bad kidney failure. She hung on for years though. How old did she, how old did she go? Yeah, how old did she go for? Yeah, we have a we have a nice little we have a little dachshund. Well, not a little. She's a she's a she's a she's a big girl. She's not like a mini dachshund. Like she's a she's a standard dachshund. She's a she's a thick one. Um, but God damn, I love her. <laughs> We'll just go ahead and then finish off the uh, mobile devices here. Yeah, and now that you are a member, you can actually use our our Dachshund emote. That's Bella. That's actually Bella. You can We do have a Bella emote when you are a member, so you can definitely use the real Bella, the real Dachshund. Uh, she, she actually made an appearance last uh, yesterday in yesterday's stream. She made an appearance towards the end uh, because people wanted to see her, so that was really fun to see as well. 70% is our corporation fee. I think what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to kind of like push this down 
to 60%. We'll do 60% for right now. Get that little bit of extra 10%. Apparently 10% of watching videos. 10% into our um uh ooh, into our little store, our first store, or sorry, our second store, yeah. That's what we'll do. There it is. Look at the Bella emote and the Mercy emote. How you doing? Looking that looking looking good. Oh, there she is. Oh, very good. Hey Norman, by the way. How you doing? Do you do you ever go back to the first store? I do, and I will. Uh for sure. Cause what you have to do is um it, right here, I'll, I'll explain here. So this is our daily manager, Muriel, right? Uh, this is the last uh, day I visited her at the store, four days ago. Um, over time, uh, the less you visit them, the less efficient they become. So right now it says $3,300 a day. That's how much money this store makes uh, on a day. It's a profit, right? They make a profit over there on a simulation. Uh, when I don't visit them for a long time, so for instance, I say I haven't visited them in nine days, this daily profit will go downward. So this daily profit will go downtrending until I go back to that store, revisit them, and say hello, and then that is when that profit will reset back to its full potential. So yeah, there is an incentive. You have to go back and visit these stores so that you can go ahead and reset their profits and things like that. Absolutely. All right, with that being said, we're going back here. <laughs> going back to the, to the other store we're working on right now. The toilet paper market uh, cornered at the start of the yeah, yeah exactly. You put up uh, you put up the, uh, the the toilet papers in your grocery stores and in in, in King of Retail. That's uh, it, it's real. Like they they will sell for the most part. And the cool thing about the, the this game, they have like multiple different brand styles of toilet paper. So you know some toilet paper is a banger. Some pa toilet paper is it's like in real life. You know real life. You got some toilet paper that are banging and some toilet paper that are not banging. Uh, you know, you got like the double, the double-sided toilet paper, the very soft ones. Then you have the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the paper thin ones that your, uh, that your company uses, you know, terrible stuff like that. <laughs> Wait for the guy to get here. She was 12 years, I think. Okay. 12 years. That's, 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 that's good. That's good. It's a long while. That is a long while. Hey pirate. How you doing pirate? Uh, hey Sims, how you doing Sims? Hey Amy, how you doing Amy? Lurking and working. I hope they add the game uh, to pad support soon. I do too. I don't know what the control uh, support uh, system is in, is in this game. I don't know if you can use a controller or not. I think you might be able to use a controller in this game. I have never personally tried it myself, uh, but it would be cool if they could add more accessibility to this game as well. That goes for most games out there. Yeah. Hmm. I have a Bella. You have a Bella too? You have a Bella too? You have a Bella too? A Yorkie Poo? I have a Mercy. She's a Parakeet. What? You have a Bella and a Mercy too? I have a Bella and a Mercy. You have a Bella and a Mercy? What the heck? My, my Bella is not a Yorkie Poo. My Mercy is not a bird. <laughs> my Mercy is like a Chihuahua. But that's crazy. I forgot what show I was watching. I think I was watching some like animal plant, animal animal planet, like um like veterinarian show or something rather, and um like <laughs> in in the in the veterinarian show they're like the most common name for animals is like the top five most common at uh, animal names. It was like sitting at number one was Bella. I was like oh, of course. I hope they add the gamepad, su gamepad support too. I would love to play this on the Steam Deck at night while I'm chilling. Yeah, you know, that, that's a good point. I wonder if they are going to make this game Steam verified or not. It is ran by one single dev, so it is a an indie, an indie dev game. Um, I don't know if he plans on continuing uh, going forward with more features in this game, more content in this game, or if he has any other projects in mind. Um, it, it would be interesting to know those, you know, those, those questions answered, I guess, and, um, and see. Because it is full release, sometimes people, you know, they full release. Games like this have been in development for the last three or four years. Sometimes they move on to their next project. Sometimes they just continue. I'm looking at you, Stardew Valley, Mr. 1.6 coming out very soon. Yeah, 1.6 Stardew Valley coming out soon. I mean, that's a game that keeps continuing. But at the same time, Stardew Valley has, uh, you know, I mean, they have another game. Concerned Apes has another game coming out. We all know the Haunted Chocolatier. As much as you know, I'm a big Willy Wonka fan, and you know for a fact we will be jumping on the Haunted Cho Chocolatier. That's 100% sure. <laughs> hey. 
Have a minute. Wanna play toilet paper only? Take it or leave it. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good as well, pirate. Yes. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <clears throat> Susie, oh, Susie T got my Steam Deck today. So excited. That's exciting stuff, Susie T. That's so cool. Yeah, it does seem like the uh, the Steam Decks are running out, or not running out, but they are rolling out really fast now. Um, seems like production. I think I think I read that they were uh, very high, more high, on uh, production. Production like they've they've produced more faster, I guess you could say. So it's very cool to see that everyone's getting their Steam Deck, and everybody in the Discord as well. Uh, you know, talking about how they're getting their Steam Deck, also. So that's really good. Do you know when and if this game is coming to consoles? By the way, hello, Grim Reaper. I do not know if it's coming to consoles. I would love for it to come to consoles. I think that would be awesome. I think there would be a big market for the console gamers, uh, for sure. Uh, whether it be Xbox or PlayStation, doesn't really matter. Uh, I think it would be awesome if it did come to console. But I don't know if it is going to come to console, unfortunately. Hey. That would be another good question to ask, too. Another good question to know. Like, are you guys doing this? Are you guys gonna bring it to console? Are you guys gonna port it over now that it's full release or not? It's a good, good, good shout right there. I will say. Thanks. Uh, did I not actually like put my minimum storage on my computers? That kind of bums me out. Hmm. <clears throat> Optimistic says I was searching uh, about this game, Puff Pals Island Skies, but I see your video playing this game, Spirit of the Island. So I go to your channel. I like, so I'm a new subscriber. By the way, I like your voice. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Optimistic. Uh, thank you for, for, for checking out the channel and thank you for uh, subscribing as well. We got a lot of videos. Apparently, enough videos to have 75% of it watched. Even if the number is 1800. <laughs> Just remember, a lot of games haven't been tested or even if it doesn't say deck verified, it might run great. Oh, very good. Okay, cool. So, um, if, if I'm really not sure how it works when it comes to Steam Deck. Um, if it's Steam Deck verified, does that mean uh, Steam has verified that this game will work efficiently on the deck? Um, and if it's not Steam Deck verified, will that mean that uh, games still technically can be played, just not verified by Steam? Is that how that works? How does that all work? Norman says, I have all f I have four shelves on the keyboard and mouse shelves. So you have four shelves of keyboards and mouses, like all different kinds. Is that what you're saying? Dragons, uh, Dragons Dogma wasn't deck verified in the latest update, and I was playing it for a month. Okay, very good. Okay, so I wonder if that must be like a Steam thing. If they, if Steam will back it kind of thing, right? <clears throat> oh my god, come on, I, I got you. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, today has been a great day. We're almost about to hit $10,000. We probably will hit $10,000. We're about to hit $10,000. We just hit $10,000. My God. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Very well. Uh, th 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 those were some big purchases. Now we're like almost out of uh, merchandise. We're going to need to spend most of our money that we get today um, on our merchandise. Kind of restock. We're playing, we're playing catch up, really. I haven't been able to put anything on the tables right here because... I can't afford it 100%. Daryl just got a little bit of a level up there. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I want to put like laptops here, gaming laptops, maybe, mo well, gaming laptops and monitors is what I want to put there. But I think we're all out of stock. I think we done did it. Yeah, I think we done did it. What do we have in here? A computer and two mobile phones, Nokia's? Sure. Absolutely. I want a Steam Deck so bad. Thank you. My brother just got a Steam Deck. He did. He got a Steam Deck, and he he doesn't use it for Steam 100%. Like he uses it for other things. Not what you're not not what stop. Not what you're thinking. He uses it to do um, emulators on it. He uses his Steam Deck to play emulators so that he can um, play emulators on the go. That's what he uses his Steam Deck for. So like he wants to play like. Ratchet and Clank on the go, go. He plays Ratchet and Clank on the go. That's what he does. That's that's what he does. That's what my brother does. That's the whole reason why he wanted it. It's for the emulation. Not so much the Steam. Alright, well, we have no more product. And we're open for an hour and a half. Uh, Daryl, actually, you can probably just like... Whoops. 
Daryl, you can, like, go home if you want. Like, we got nothing else going here. I'll send you home for the rest of the day so I can save an hour of pay. Have a good one, Daryl. I'll just sit here until time comes back. <clears throat> that 75% now is 10% after I know the total video. Uh, I know total video number. Oh, okay. <laughs> 1,800 videos. It's great for emulating. UK trip would be a dream. It would be. It would be. Hey, Fajian. Fajian. Fajian says my freaking Steam Deck uh, screen busted. What? I played one night and turned it on the next right night and the screen didn't work. What? You better be contacting Steam right away. Getting that in. Be like, hey, send me a replacement. That shouldn't, that shouldn't, no, 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 that's not, that, that shouldn't happen, right? I know, I'm right there with you, Susan. I want a Steam Deck 2 someday. I mean, I, I mean, I would like a Steam Deck probably, but honestly, to be fair, like, I just probably wouldn't see myself really playing it. That's the only thing, so, uh, that's why I've never been, like, jumped on, like, jumped on it, because, like, I just, I don't know, I just probably, I, I do most of my work in front of you right here <laughs> that's what i do mostly so it's like i don't know i haven't really um i haven't really thought about it even for my own sense now eighty two hundred dollars we ran out of product so that means our volume and our source probably going up sorry our vol volume of traffic is going up i'm gonna try to um squeeze out more here more products maybe set a minimum storage set here ninety one hundred dollars you gradually go up you gradually go up you gradually go up right that's kind of what we're doing here more computers, please. Um, yeah, more computers. We'll do that. Maybe 9,500. Yeah, 9,500. Order. Very good. We did that. $573 left over, which means 149 is projected profits, which means $224 will go to the corporation, which means we will probably not do an advertisement. So no advertisement. We will pass on the advertising. Kodama, hey Kodama, Ian and Emma, oh very cool, I love it. Ten years as an area manager in the music shop chain. Uh, Tatiana, is that Tatiana? Uh, Peter, is that Peter? Yeah, Peter. General, Belinger, Marquisha Clem, Kodama. I'm interested. Area manager in a music shop Kodamal might be a fantastic oh my god and you are grateful and you're optimistic this and you're a computer specialist oh my god um this person might be sent straight to the hq 100 percent, possibly possibly we might use them here at the store and then send them to the hq this is really cool I like this a lot. This is gonna be a good hire. Utility person can work anywhere I put them. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Get hired. $14 an hour. My good God almighty. This is incredible. Okay, now with that being said, let's go ahead and use Kodamal and say, Kodamal, I would like you to be a pressures on. <laughs> I don't think we need a greeter. I think we're doing just fine. If anything, maybe more questions can be answered through a seller. Maybe I make another seller. Maybe I do double time seller. I'll do double time seller. All day. I'll do double time seller. Put your Well, start your work at 11 a.m. We'll do 11 a.m. Absolutely. We'll end your work. No, no, no. We'll put you a break. At 1500 No, no, no. You can't have a break at 1500 because the other person do it at 1500 break. We'll put your break at 1600 There we go. Put your break at 1600 You will get days off. I just have not put that in yet. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a restocker on standby? Possibly. Anybody that wants to do restock? I do not. Just the one person, Kaylee Leah. Ay, ay, ay. You didn't put computers on display. You have at least one still left. Is that right? Did I still have one still left? Uh, let's see here. Let's go with... Uh, sorry, not that. Uh, I didn't want to go into that either. Uh, I want to see if I can find a restocker. Four years in a college... Or, sorry, college degree in space management. There's our restocker right there. I think that's Tatiana or Titiana. Titiana. I'm going to probably say Tatiana. Yeah, wow. 
mobile devices specialist. You're looking at the ability to unpack, out of control, charismatic, workaholic. Love all of that. No, nope. I will pay extra. I will pay. I, I will pay a premium for the restocker. This is the best restocker that we have. Very good. Um, yeah, send me up. There we go. So now I don't have to worry about restocking too much now. Hey, Chris Comer, thank you so much for the eight months of uh, support. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much for eight full months of being a member here on the channel. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Thank you so much. Carol says, I'm leaving to China to go to London in three weeks. Oh, that's amazing. That sounds pretty spicy. I find a Steam Deck is more is more for casual type games. I've been playing the Mass Effect trilogy on it, though. That sounds pretty cool, though. Playing Mass Effect on the go, like kind of like a mobile Mass Effect. That sounds pretty cool. That's really cool, actually. I wonder if my friend, my friend's a really big Mass Effect fan. I wonder if he would be down now with that. Now, I'm going to be doing kind of like less people in this store. And I'm kind of like motioning that towards my other store. Less people, right? Less people, but more hours worked. And we'll have like a B shift, an A shift, and, and things like that. We've we've been over that quite a bit. But that's gonna be our all day restocker. I don't mind paying the extra, you know, dollar or two to do that. I think it will keep our monies going up. What we really need to do is we need to buy out this store as fast as possible. Now to buy out the store, I think it's gonna cost twenty some thousand, maybe, I think. So we're gonna go into the next day with two sellers, one restocker. I'll work the cashier, and uh, that will be that. So then I don't have to worry about doing the restock. And uh, I don't have to worry about messing up and, and, uh, and all that good stuff. So there we go. Go back to that. <coughs> Excuse me. How, how, how high? How high? 13? Do we get 13? Are we a known shop now? Yes, we are. We are now a known shop. So that's just going to be good for our um, people overall. Other stores level up. So, Okay. Our original store just got a level up. So I think that they're level 30 over there now. Yeah. Seven skill points. Uh, I can't remember how many points we need to actually purchase another concept. I think it's 20. I think it's 20 points we need to purchase another concept. All right. So total corporation funds is looking is like out of control, honestly. $10,000. Let's actually go to the city. We'll go to the HQ, and what we'll do is we'll actually take some of that money from the corporation, and we'll spend it, not spend it, send it to our new store so that we can kind of give it a little bit of a boost, a little, little bit of a, a, a giddy-up, yeah. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the dock that will hopefully bring it to the connect to the TV. Yeah, the, the dock for that will be good. I think you can technically still do it now if you want to. I think you could technically still connect it to the TV, um, even as is, I think, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think you can. Uh, that's not the store. Is that the store? No, that is the store. Yeah, that's the store. We want to transfer some funds. I would like to deposit. Wait. Yeah, deposit, right? Withdraw, deposit, deposit. Select the amount of money that we transfer to the store. Okay, I want to deposit $5,000. There we go. $5,000. Absolutely. They made the schedule much better on full release from the previous seasons I watched. I know, it's way better now. It is. It is It is a lot better, for sure. <clears throat> I modified roles and made a seller slash greeter worker. He or she greets uh, and sells whenever possible. Works with really well. Yeah, that's a, that, that way is like a great way to save money. That's $22,000, by the way, to, to buy out this... Um, to buy out this uh, this store yeah that's a great way to save money on on wages is when you just have them mo work multiple jobs one thing i like to do as well is uh give them areas like work areas like uh like this is your section but our stores haven't been big enough to give them like work areas so they kind of just like go about the cabin right you're free about to go you're free to go about the cabin <clears throat> all right here we go uh anya anya says hi from malaysia we'll shout out to malaysia how you doing there we go. There's the one computer right there. So, again, I want to get laptops. I want to get monitors here eventually. Uh, push more. Uh, this also, I would like to put uh, PlayStations and things like that. Console, or yeah, consoles over there. Kind of like making the same layout as our last store. What do I have back here? 
Oh my god, you idiot. You do have the laptops and the monitors, you son of a gun. Okay. So guess what? We have the laptops and monitors. <laughs> um, let's go here. And then let's go here. Let's go. Let's do it. There we go. See, all you just have to do is stop being a forehead. That's basically it. You can't connect it to a TV using USB-C uh, to HDMI cable. Okay, so you can connect it. It probably just is a little, like, inconvenient, you know, because of, like, not having it on a dock and whatnot, right? There we go. There we go. Very cool. Nice. All right. So we have the monitors up. We have the laptops up. At least those are things that they could buy right now until uh, our uh, delivery service gets here, for sure. You can only have three shelves on your keyboard and mouse shelves. So, like, you can't go, like, another one down, right? This is all you can have. This one, this one, and this one. You can't do a... You, it won't... Like, another one won't fit, right? Hey, Kolbs. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. How you doing, Kolbs? Let's go and unpack this, please. Here we go. Unpack, unpack, unpack. Come on, now. Let's do it. Oh, we got a, we got a whistle, baby. We got a whistle. Hang on a sec. Oh, I can add one more? Okay. I almost totally forgot... To, uh okay never mind I'm good I'm good I'm good I'm good sorry I I, I had to um <clears throat> I had to switch my ringer on today hey Obel how you doing Obel so wait I can add one more so I can add one more like uh one more mouse to this one more keyboard to this then hey have a minute <clears throat> got colder in Florida well I mean Let's be let's be real here. <laughs> Got colder in Florida. We went through one of like the worst storms in in years, like decades. Not well, maybe not decades. I mean, I, I think of like 2000, the early 2000s. But <clears throat> it looks like the AI pathing has improved. You should be able to edit the lights now. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see if the hitbox is a little bit um uh, better. Let's see. Edit hitbox. Thanks. Yeah, the hitbox is fixed. Okay, good, good, good. Hitbox is fixed on that. That's really good. Great. Glad that's a thing. Cool. Wonderful. Nice. Got it. Grand. Fantastic. Cool. That's good. That's really good. So there we go. Nice. Um, so the hitbox on the lights are all better. Restocking is looking really good. The store is going to stay filled. I'm just going to sit here at the cash register. And uh, these people are going to hopefully drop it like it's hot. We could have a greeter out there. We absolutely could. And maybe one day we will. Uh, but early on, opening up the store, I think we're doing just fine. $7,000 in our pocket. Let's not forget, we started out with like around $5,000. So we're, ru we're running on a $5,000 supplement right now. Which will be good. That can help us with some more fixtures. Bring in some more products. Things like that. All that. All the goodness. I have not put any signs up in the store, which uh, kind of hurts my uh, ego a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. So maybe I do that here soon. Put some signs up. Do that. Thanks. Got to head to the vet. Glad to be a member. I'll catch up on the VOD. Good chatting with you. Very good, Dur Durkham. And thank you so much for becoming a member. And I hope to speak to you real soon again. Thank you very much. And hey, with the membership, make sure to check out our members' uh, videos and live streams as well. Also on the home hey, channel. Can you help me? Hey, Crystal. Crystal Nabby, how you doing? Hope everyone is well. Hope you're doing well, Crystal. How you doing? Good to see you. You have to move the shelves you've got to make room for another one. Um, I probably will have to make some room over here because um, I don't think it's going to fit up along this wall with these tables. I might have to move these tables a little bit and then have these uh, shelves go through here. I haven't decided if I want like another expansion on this. Well, I mean, I can't really expand this. I can't expand the walls out because I don't own the store. But even when I do own the store, I don't know if I want like a massive uh, store like I or kind of like upgraded store like my other one or if I want to keep it like small and neat as it is i want to put flavor i guess to to the different stores i don't want to make them all too too uh, identical even though this one is very very close to being identical hey alex how you doing alex Thanks. hope you're doing hey, good have a minute 73 but it feels like 82 oh yeah oh the shelf unit the shelf unit so do you have to move the shelves you've got to make room for another uh this one right here are you talking about these ones over here these shelves excuse me um are you talking about this like this little tiny open gap right here? 
Do I have a sale going on? I don't have a sale going on. I don't typically run sales that much. Not unless it's a product I know that isn't selling. So if there's like a something, if there's a product that I know that just doesn't hit with the demographic and the sale isn't good, or sorry, and they're not selling good, what I'll do is I'll then like put like 10% off, 20% off, 30% off, whatever it might be. I'll make a sale rack. <clears throat> I'll make a sale rack. It's very sim similar to what we uh, did in real life. But uh, right now, the things that we do have, uh, they're banging, they're hitting, and they're doing a very good job. So I haven't really needed to, to make a sale rack. I know bringing in sales will attract more people, but I think right now we're doing all right. Hey! Solicia Gaming became a member. Solicia Gaming, thank you for becoming a member of the channel. That was uh, incredible. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That was very generous of you, too. Thank you. Uh, have you noticed that customers walk more straight line now when uh, coming to the register? Not so much uh, that left-right walking. Uh, right now, like, honestly, like, for me, it, I haven't really noticed it too much. Just because, like, these old series, those old King of Retail before the update came out, um, it was so long ago. I feel like it was so long ago. Maybe it was, like, a year ago, right? But, like, I hardly remember uh, the mechanics and gameplays that the game was already sitting at beforehand. <clears throat> the red shelves where you only have three right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me let me just look into that and um and I'll I'll, I'll give you an answer on that one. So the red shelves where you only have three. That's the yeah. I'll look into that. Let me look into that. You might have to re ask me again. Okay, so that's good. We have a lot of we we have our minimum storage coming. We have five thousand eight hundred and eighty one dollars now. Uh, really, the five thousand dollars was for us i guess the 881 dollars is basically where we would be at and you're sitting at a 207 dollar profit with the corporation fee of 311 now there's a couple of ways we could do this with the with the um five thousand dollar supplement we could spend it in advertising or we can spend it in uh fixtures and things like that those are those are a couple things that we could do for sure <clears throat> hey arga how's it going arga hey colin how you doing colin hey gage how you doing, Gage? You've been watching your Let's Play? I've, you've, you've been watching the Let's Play on it? Oh, very good. Very good. Yeah, so I think right now I'm going to hold on to my 5K and I'm probably going to buy more shelving. Kind of like plan out what the next thing I want to have in. Um, Maybe another... Oh, maybe the handhelds. Maybe I'll bring in the handhelds. We have the PlayStations already coming in, so the PlayStations are going to eventually come in. Maybe I bring in the handhelds. And then maybe I bring in some more peripherals. That's what I'm thinking. Employees. I think we're doing fine. Yeah. One thing we haven't checked also in a while is the bank and the loan and how that all works. To see if that was even changed through the patch notes or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to go to the city hall, to the bank. We're an everyday shop, by the way. And see where it takes us. Will it give us a better explanation on whether or not we can pay back a loan or so on and so forth, right? I don't know. We'll have to see. Eventually, eventually though, we're going to have to go back to our first store, uh, which means we're going to need to get a daily manager soon and fast at our new store. So things do get a little, you know, things do run quick. Uh, so right here, you can already see the profits are going down uh, since the last, you know, because we haven't visited there in a while. It's not like dramatically down. It is, you know, it's, it's 3100 it's it's trending down but it's still making profit so that's you know that's good uh, with that being said let's go to the city hall and i just want to look into this one more time because we technically still have a loan right we still have a loan that we haven't paid back right i would like to take out a loan i would like to take a look at my current loan repay loan next interest 15 days Monthly interest, 10%. Daily payment, $88. So I guess if I have $8,800, this makes no sense. I, I, I'll I be straight with the dev. This makes no sense. This was an $8,000 loan. It is now, it is now a $8,800 loan. Daily payment we have never seen. Monthly interest. I don't even think we've gone through a month in this game. Maybe a, a month or two. Next interest in 15 days. How can you have a monthly interest of 10% but then have an interest of 15 days? I guess I guess we're in the middle of the month, you could say. So, yeah, this one is a little weird. 
Um, I guess if I have $8,800, I can then pay that off. And then I don't have to worry about it. Little, little, I'm still a little confused on that one. I'll, I'll be real with you. Hey, Pamela. How you doing, Pamela? Hey, Jean, Jean-Pierre. Is that how you say your name? Jean-Pierre? Have the lights been fixed? The lights have been fixed as long as far as, like, uh, hitbox goes. I'm able to, uh, uh, to click on them correctly. <laughs> That's good. I love this game, but the bugs do get overwhelming at times. They do. They, the bugs do. Um, I don't know if you played the game today, but there had there was a big uh, there was a big update today. Not big, but there's a big uh, bug update today. So the three shelves. You said three shelves, right? The three red shelves. These ones right here. Three red shelves. Like currently, or like are we going to buy three red shelves? Because I see two over here and then four over here. <clears throat> The keyboard and mouse shelves, you can move the shelves up to up to make room for one. Like, go like this. Like, have another one right here, right? I'm going to probably push this wall with a bunch of shelves. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. And I'm going to push this sideways. Put that, like, right there. And then grab this. Put this over here. Whoops, not there. Uh, put this over here sideways maybe or not that might not work maybe like right there uh and then yeah okay i i, I think i see the vision put this if i can't slide it right there put handhelds right there maybe put the playstations right here because we still want to put the playstations right here let's do the playstations hi spare two seconds there we go Put those right there. This is where the PlayStations are going to go. And then we want another one for the handhelds, right? For the, Well, eventually for the handhelds, because we don't have them quite yet. And then maybe put the handhelds, like, right here. It looks a, li it looks a little busy. I, I'll be I'll be real. Looks a little busy. But hey, more is, I guess, good. So you can have four shelves on the unit. Okay, I see. I see what you mean. I see what you mean now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So, um, yeah, I think we... So, hang on a sec. I'll, I'll kind of, like, do this for an example. Right there. So there you go. There's the fourth one. See the fourth shelf down there? That's probably what we're talking about, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's get rid of that now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He got so mad at me. He got so mad at me because I didn't ring him out. <clears throat> Never have I ever made a... Uh, noise like that when I was not checked out at Walmart at 11 p.m. I have a mega store in the mall and you can only use three queue lines because the seven queue line takes too too long to cash people out so they get mad and leave. I have eight registers and still not enough. Well, it depends, I think, really, right? If you have, so for instance, let me, let me ask you this question. <clears throat> if you have a seven long queue, do you have high trained cash registers they check people out speed wise depending on their skill at the cash register if they are not a high skill they will not go fast and they will not check them out fast um big price items i don't think will be checked out fast either so are they all like great cashiers you got to double check that you think the loan system's bug it might be it might be i don't know or I'm just like totally don't even understand it. <clears throat> hey, Michelle. How you doing, Michelle? Hope all is well. Thanks. I started a new concept with groceries, and that's a challenge. Electronics is way easier. Yeah. It, are you doing like single store or are you doing campaign? If you're doing the campaign, groceries, yeah, that it's 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 definitely a uh, it's a grind. It's it's a very big grind. Way easier, or sorry, way harder than electronics. Electronics is way easier for sure. You have three star full skilled with the cashier perks and it's no difference. Really? Hey. I wonder if that's an issue then. Hey. <clears throat> hey. Thanks. There is, um, hey. there used to be a very, in early access, there used to be a point hey. where the airport location was banging. Banging for sure. Hey. Like, you go to, you, you get a store at the airport and the amount of people that would come because it was a very high populated area. Um, it was crazy. It was super crazy. Excuse me. 
Sounds like Tim Allen. I agree. You're going to get this later when you get home? Oh, very good. Very good. I hope you enjoy this. As much as all we do. I do like the campaign experience. I'm not... I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers in the past. I don't know about now, but there's a lot of YouTubers in the past that did the single store experience. But at the time when I did season two, there wasn't a lot of YouTubers at the time doing uh, campaign runs. And I think I was at the time one of the first uh, campaign run channels. Got a second. But campaign was super new also during that time as well. Hey, got a second. Thanks. Yeah, if your cashiers are not skilled enough, you will lose money from sales too. Yeah, they'll 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 ring people out wrong too. Yeah, they'll just ring people out and you'll lose money that way as well. Excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, we need to go set this. Hang on a sec. Set it. Please and thank you. Hi. PlayStation. 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 There we go. Very cool. Very cool. Love it. Oh, get to the cash register. I'm coming. I might need to like get a bigger cash register. I might need to get like a 5Q or something. There we go. Okay, so now the PlayStations are up and running. I'm doing a campaign run. Groceries is my second concept. My first concept started with men's and shoes. And man, it took off real fast. Thanks. My store shoe, my shoe store is now a full men's clothing with a, and full electronics. Oh, you should have, you should have done the, like a, you should have did a campaign run where you just started out groceries first. Oh, you should have did that. That would have been spicy, dude. That would have been so struggle. Hey, can you help me? That would have been the struggle we went through. Oh, it's that's like the real challenge. Like that's 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 when the game gets real real fun. Is when you're doing groceries and it's like, oh god. The profit margins are so low. That's that's the best part of it. I need to up the minimum storage on a few things here. Hi, there two seconds. Cashiers are not a bad, not as bad as, as as it was. Okay, that's a good shout. <clears throat> that's good to know. I think I'm gonna add some more lighting. Now that seems like everything seems to be okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you, is it like okay? Seems okay. I think it seems okay. I opened my first grocery store with 50000 and it still took weeks to turn profit. Holy crap. $50,000. That was way more than I ever, ever had when I started a grocery store. And still had trouble. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Hang on a sec, guys. And gals. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Prem, how you doing, Prem? Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's do lights and let's go with the. Uh, let's see. I, I really like this. I do like this, and I do like the uh, the red. So let's go red. Let's kind of spice it up a bit. No, no, no. Actually, you know what? Hang on a sec. Do I have no one here? Right? How much time do I have? Oh, I'm gonna. I I really wish you could tinker with your store in the in the after hours, right? I really do. Come on now. Dang it. I want to put like a red glow on that again. And I think I want to put a sign as well. Yeah, I do want to put a sign as well. <laughs> My corporation has $815,000. You're almost a millionaire Millionaire now. Very good. <laughs> I can't remember where, how much, how much like most money we ever had in the game back then really don't remember that much um, let's see here let's go with um we'll bring in new stuff so now we're gonna bring in the handhelds yeah let's bring in the handhelds let's see let's do the we'll, we'll do the same ones we did before like the kind of like the nintendo switch ones looking yeah that's what we'll do we'll do like the white ones and the red ones there we go and we'll go four four please four Four. Minimum storage four. Save. Save. Okay. Maybe. Five. Five. Five maybe to round it out. Yeah. Changing the currency to USD is a game changer too. Yeah. <laughs> it's changing it to USD will definitely uh, throw your numbers off if you were playing on the default uh, currency before. 
Are you able to pause the game after the store has closed and edit the store? No, you cannot do that. You could pause the game, but you can't uh, edit the store or anything like that. Uh, one way that you could do is you can uh, you can close the store. Uh, you can you know close the store if you want for a whole day, but you obviously will lose money and all that because you have to pay rent for that day also or whatever you have to pay. Okay. So electronics, computers, I think I would like to bring in more mouses also. Uh, these LEDs, do I have these? I don't think I do have these LEDs. We'll go three color LEDs, mouses, please. Now one problem here is going to be our delivery unit size. 68 is going to be a problem. Five, five, maybe seven, seven, seven. I might be overdoing it here, I, I will admit. 777, seven, seven. more mouses. I will not add more keyboards, it will be that. We'll spend $11,000. There we go. $2,100 altogether. Very well. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like this. I, I think this is good. I think this is good. Now, we are kind of dipping into the supplements here. What I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna advertise. We go big. Advertise for computers. No, no, no. We want big ones. Big computers. Big devices. Now I could put in a demographic if I want to, but honestly, I don't think it's necessary. Twenty five hundred dollars for that many days. Two thousand dollars for that many days. Fourteen hundred dollars for that many days. We'll go fourteen hundred for that many days. We'll buy that advertisement. We will not be using any, or sorry, we will not be taking any profits, and we will not be putting any of our money into the corporation either. I think this is good. The only thing is, is that I'm going to need to buy a fixture. I think one, one fixture. Yeah, one fixture. Reputation should go up too. Yeah, reputation should go up. Hey, Ellie, Ellie says, I'm going to blast the volume of the stream to keep me awake during my homework despite my four hours of sleep. Thanks for streaming, Cans. Do you need me to yell? It's good to see you, Ellie. Okay, so that might look bad. It's not bad. Don't worry about the negative profits there. Don't worry about that. Should I start playing with a single sword or start off with a corporate? Um, It's up to you. You could definitely learn with a single store, but if you want to jump into a challenge and, and, and all that, I would recommend campaign. Uh, but you also have to know that you have the risk of losing it all, so to speak, with like bankruptcy and, and, and things like that too as well. So if you're okay with that, then by all means, right? I think I might actually slide a pallet in here if I can. Can I slide a pallet? Can I slide one in? Yes. There we go. But it all depends. It all just depends what you're comfortable with. Uh, and also, like, pro tip, if you first get this game, make sure to go to customize and make sure to set your currency to the right currency, whatever currency you would you want to play in or play, you know, play for. Um, unless you want to use the default currency. You could use uh, default currency. I think you could use pounds, euros, um, USD. You can even make your own currency in this game, I believe, too. So if you wanted to make your own currency, you could definitely do that too. Excuse me. So there's, you know, there's options. Um, obviously options. I'm going to buy... I don't think I have enough money to do it, but I'm going to see. I want to buy this. Oh, I do. 480. I thought it was 700, but yeah. All right. Slide that bad boy right there. And we'll add more mouses. And then, like, eventually what I'll do is I'll, like, also just organize it a bit more right now i'm not going to organize it hey can you help me hey can you help me absolutely okay so we'll we'll let T uh, tatiana right tatiana we'll let her do the restocking uh, i think our delivery did come in oh wait there's our delivery right there hit it good hit it good hit it good come on come on come on there you go Okay, yep, he should be good. He should be good to deliver it all. Good, he was. Great. 
Now he's stuck. Oh no. Have a minute. Don't there you go. Don't get our customers Have stuck, you madman. Hey. Thanks. I do believe the Daryl and the Kodamal are very good. Thanks. Like having two salespeople at one time helping these customers out. I think we're losing we're not losing uh, more customers as we were before. Now with the advertisement, we should be getting a bigger influx of laborers. I see some farmers though. There we go. This is money, baby. This is going to be a big money day. Hopefully our restocker can keep up with this, but this is really good. Watch this, though. Just watch it go, baby. Watch it go. 769, 195, 195. I don't even know what the hell 195 is. What are they buying that's 195? Hey, have a minute. One thing I don't think I restocked on was gaming laptops. Yeah, there's our queue issue right there. More queuing issues. More queuing issues. Oh my god, it's real. It is actually real. Okay, we gotta get it. We gotta get a new queue. This is crazy. Look at the amount of people in the store now. I think the advertisement is definitely coming through. I think the population of the store is coming through. I think it's getting a little overwhelming. The fact that everyone has their hands up wanting to be rang out here. Some of them are. We're losing a lot of customers. We're losing a lot of customers. We have too big, too much. Holy crap. We're going to be like... They're going to bleed us dry. They're going to bleed us dry. Is there a Black Friday sale? I, 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 where, right? Am I selling stuff at 100% off again? What the hell is going on? My God. That is magnificent. Look at the money just roll in, baby. Incredible. I think I ran out all my stock. We almost have, we have $17,000. And we missed out on so many sales. Quick note. You ready for the quick note? Nobody stole anything. How did anybody not steal anything that entire time? Nobody stole anything. I don't have security. I just went through an entire store without selling, like without stuff being stolen. My God, get rid of that. <laughs> Put in a new register. A five Q, I guess now. I mean, you, you could definitely argue seven Q, right? Absolutely. I'll back this up as much as I can. There we go. Well, I mean, F. We did good. Uh, what do we have back here now? Mouses and switches. Okay, so those are a few things that we need to put out that we didn't get to put out yet. Well, that's all right. They cleaned us out everywhere else. Hey, there's one phone out there still. I still see one phone. They didn't completely clean us out. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, Rose. How you doing, Rose? I don't think the euros have correct currency. I mean, cheapest mobile phone is around 500 euros. And the lowest wages are 120 euros. Yeah, it, well, yeah. The game's not really realistic when it comes to uh, just uh, prices in general. You do love to see that, don't you? It, it's good to see. Absolutely good to see. Let's put the green ones. No, let's put the purple ones on top. Dun, 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 dun. Hang on, don't whistle at me, dude. How dare you? Okay, you actually have the right to do that. You're going to buy a Switch, aren't you? You bought a Switch. All right. It's closing time at the zoo. So that is what it is. $17,000. If anything, I know it's not going to mean much money-wise and profit-wise, but it's going to mean much XP-wise for the store. This store will definitely go up in uh, reputation for sure. Time to get more new products. Time to get something. Nice shirt, by the way. Thank you, Preem. Freaking magic. I tell you what. Okay, so uh, where does our minimum storage sit? How much was that? 85 units, $12,000. There's like a freaking gnat flying around, dude. Now, hang on a sec. 
Not everything's in this. What I mean by that is we do not have our mouses. Because the seven is that. Seven is, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. No, we didn't sell any of those mouses. We're good. We're fine. Um, I mean, what we really could do is we could up the minimum storage on a few things. Like, maybe more computers. Instead of having two in, maybe we have three in, right? Maybe we could do that. Instead of having... Seven Nokia's in, we can have ten Nokia's in. Instead of four VRs, we could have six VRs. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll we'll increase some storage there. We'll increase some storage. That's what we'll do. Fifteen thousand nine hundred dollars. That leaves us with one hundred and sixty-eight dollars, which leaves us at a projected profit of negative. That's all right. And then that means we can go ahead and. Pick up our XP. Might lose money in the corporation. Look at that, right there. That's what you want right there. Leveling up your store is so important in this game. Because it gives you these milestones. And it gives you uh, all these like customers coming in at mass amounts of all, like the, the mass massive amounts of volume, right? Which is what we want. We want them to clean out our store. We actually still made a profit, believe it or not. We still made a profit uh, with our other store helping us out. So that's really good. So the corporation has $10,000 once again in its funds. So when the corporation had $10,000 last time, we took $5,000 from it. Now it's back up to $10,000 again. So that's pretty cool. This takes six. Okay, six. Hey, Cherokee. How you doing, Cherokee? 120 euros per hour to worker. Not going to happen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Leave the gnat alone. Remember the fly. <laughs> hey, crazy one. How you doing, crazy one? <laughs> okay, since I, I mean, I'm going to have a little bit of time here. I guess I could like, if I really wanted to, I could like put a light possibly. $80 light. We'll do... No, I didn't want to save that color. Uh, we'll do a gray on the outside. And we'll do a red on the inside. Yeah, and we'll like... We'll put this here. No. Is that too close to the other objects? There we go. We'll put the red right above the PlayStation, I guess. I don't know. We'll edit it. Maybe a light dim. Let's do a light dim. We'll do a light dim. Yeah, we'll do a light dim. I like that. <clears throat> hey, a little help. Huh? Yeah, maybe check. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna definitely do. I'm gonna check to see if I can uh, repay back the loan when I do have that eight thousand dollars. I could take it from the corporation and see, which wouldn't be a bad idea. <coughs> Look at that. I'm already having questions asked, um, and our salespeople are not even in yet. They might need to come in an hour earlier now. I don't even know. Now we're rolling with a uh, five queue. So hopefully we don't have any queuing issue issues today. Our restocker is going to hit it hard here. I'm going to work the cashier as always. Could hire a cashier if I really wanted to. Thanks. Hey. Okay, articles were delivered. That's good. How am I doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. Two seconds. Hey, got a second. Thank you. I see you had Hey There Stranger as your outro. Great song. Um uh, is it Hey There Stranger? That one? Are you talking about that song? Hi, start. Hey, got a second. That was my old, old, old uh outro song. That must have been it. You must have saw the old outro song, right? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's my friend's song. 
Yeah, my friend who I went to high school with. That's his song. I used his song. And I, I, I think in those videos, I linked his YouTube channel to it, too. That's a good song. I like that song. Yeah, that's why I mean that's why I used it as my outro. I did I, I did enjoy it very much so Hi. Yeah, it's on the old King of Retail series. Yeah Hi. Hey, can you help me? Hi. Next level so far this is working. It's all working Hi. No queuing issues hey. One problem I'm seeing is maybe like restock issues. Maybe. That's one thing I'm seeing as an issue. Other than that, not too bad. Hey, a little help. Hey, a little Hey, this uh oh. Hey, a little help. Too many helps. Hey, a little help. Hey, a little help. Hey, a little help. Thank you. Hey, hey, have a minute. Thank you. I made a custom staff roll so my staff will do will go do the cashiers, then sales, then unpacking, then restocking, then greeting. Now, do you do those uh, custom rolls and you have them all like at different times as they shift around the store? Because like, if you have someone doing the cashier and then you have them doing the the packing, who's covering the cashier when they do the unpacking? Do you have like a bunch of different rolls that cover everything? Thanks. Hey. You have a greeter and seller, and then you have a stalker and then a seller. Because they can only do one job per hour, right? I think that's what they can only do. They can only be assigned one job per hour. Like one hour, they'll be a seller. One hour, they'll be a restocker, and so on and so forth, right? We're about to hit $20,000. We just hit $20,000. Holy crap. Dude, if Radio Shack could hit it hard... Back in the day, like this, we would have never gone bankrupt. Thank you. We would have never gone bankrupt. $22,000. Hit me with 23. Hit me with 23. Hit me with 23. Yo, that person's gonna steal! No! That... Somebody rewind. Somebody rewind the stream. This person just stole from me, right? And I did not get a notification about it. Somebody, somebody confirm that, please, for the love of God. They stole from me. And I didn't get a notification on it. Maybe there have been people stealing this whole time. Maybe now that's bugged. Maybe the, 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 the steal notification's bugged. That person stole from me. I'm pretty damn sure. I chased them out the door. I was going for him. That might be bad. <laughs> that might be really bad. That is a huge, huge part of the game that you cannot have bugged. Absolutely not. Unless I, my eyes deceived me, which I will be real with you, would not be the first time ever. Um, that has to be something. That had to have been something. They did steal from me? Oh, shoot. That's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. By the way, hello, C2W. How you doing? Hey, Skyler. I was playing about an hour ago and got stealing notifications, so I don't think it's bugged or it's only occasionally bugged. They stole from you? They can do all jobs at the same time if someone gets the register. Then someone will will go to it. Oh, okay. The theft notification just popped up. Did it just pop up when I did I not see it just pop up? Before it would do that swipey, no swiper, right? That that it would do that sound, right? You went back and saw it. What the hell? They took a monitor from me. Because, like, before it would make that sound. Oh, someone stole from you, right? That had no sound and no, like, notification, no? What just happened? I'm good, too. I'm good, too, C2W. Very good. That was insane, right?
Like, that was crazy. I'm not losing my mind on that, no? I'm not. She stole two items? What the hell? Alright, well then. So, with the minimum storage already set in stone here, our projected profits is $1,600, which is really good, because that means we are doing something good. Now, what I can do is go into the this, yes, I can go into this, and bring in some more. Christian Lynn, hey Christian Lynn, John McRae, hey John McRae. Um, let's see here. 10 years as an area manager in a pet store, consulting and cash control. Diamond Boucher, Boucher, Boucher. <laughs> Um, very well. Um, okay. Cash register? Is that 16? This guy might, okay, so he might be an expensive cash register, right? But he might actually go to the HQ. So don't worry about it. He might go to the HQ. Okay, you know what? $20 an hour. I'm not going to hire him. I'm going to hold on to him. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to him. Notice that too. Now you really need to hire a security guard. No sound from the steals and no notification for me either. Oh, crap. Of course, right? Of course. John McRae, five years at an assistant manager in a gas station. Cash register security. Yo, maybe John can be security. 14 hour. Good. Cash register high, security medium. We'll do cash register. We'll hire for cash register. We'll hire for cash register. I'm going to jump from a plane and stand in front of it, uh, of a train, because I'm a sucker for pain. What the frick did you just say to me? <laughs> Farmers, mobile devices, sales, marketing. Now, we don't have a marketer. Right? We don't have a marketer. But this person probably would do well as a greeter. So we're going to hire Christian as a greeter. Shout out to Christian. So we'll hire Christian as a greeter. So we have John, I think, and Christian. Filling out A team and B team. I know like there's the custom roles and I know there's like multiple things you can make them do, but I really like the system and I really like this system that I do where I give people dedicated just jobs so that they can just excel at them. So Christian, you will be a greeter all day, all freaking day. And you will start work at 11 a.m. And you will take a break at 1500. Yes. And you will end your day there. You will end your day at 1800 though. You're not going to be there for the last hour. You don't need to be there for the last hour. So that's fine. Maybe put your break at 1300 then. So it doesn't like complicate with other people's breaks. There we go. So that's what we'll do. John. John, you will be starting work at 1100. And you will be assigned to cashier. You will be cashier for the entire day. And then once we get more people coming in, we'll make the A team and the B team. Um, then we'll go break. 1500 for John. And then 1500 I'll have to cover the cashier or the register for now. Or for then. Yeah. That's okay. We'll do that. So, we have... You could almost kind of argue this is the A-team. And easy enough, I could just go like this. Uh, A-team. Right? I can insert my notes here on these people. A-team. And then just kind of like uh, remember. A-team is these days and B-team are these days, right? Uh, maybe like A-team is... Oh my god, why am I having a hard time spelling? A-team is like Monday, Tuesday... Wednesday, Thursday, and then B team is like Friday, Saturday, Sunday type thing. Kind of that 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 route, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I'm very happy with how much money we have. 
I probably will spend it on uh, this again. We'll do another one. This has no more days left. And I think this is doing a very good job. So we will continue with this. Not that. 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 And what we're going to do this time is we're actually going to see if we can get any celebrities in. Why? Because they pay a lot of money. That's why. They spend a lot of money. Celebrities. Four days. $2,600. Spend it. Money for advertisement, baby. Love it. Then we have to think about bringing in a daily manager. Putting someone as a daily manager. Right? Right. Thank you, Susie T. I will see you later, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. All my slackers are on my B team. <laughs> hey, Donna Nana, how you doing? I was late to stream, so uh, is this a new store? How are you still running your first store? No, this is uh, this is my second store. Yeah, this is store two. I'm building it up right now, currently. My daily ma manager is running my first uh, first store, though. Yeah, so you can hire managers to run your stores, and that's basically what's happening with our first store. All right, so we'll wait. We'll wait for our stuff to come in and all that. It's gonna be great. Whew. We have Kansas Shack up there on the on the wall. Might as well like do a little bit more cheeky stuff. Uh, let's go. Does no 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 no. We'll go. Uh, signs. We'll go more more signs. We'll go uh, ceiling sign. Yeah. Got to stay consistent, right? Got to stay consistent. Put a large one. Put that up. There we go. Oh, God. Put it right here. Change it. Tell people. I assure you we're open. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't order. Yeah, I ordered minimum storage. Remember we had like $20,000? Remember we had like $25,000? Absolutely, we had minimum storage spent. Okay. Bring everybody in now. Hey, have a Oh, wait, I don't need to work the... Well, I kind of do. Kind of don't. I, okay, yeah, I, I will. I'll work the register until uh, John gets here. <clears throat> Okay, John here. Come on, John. Let's go get it. Get hurry, John. Let's go. There you go. Perfect. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help out with the this. Yeah. No, no, no. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Like, I, okay. All right. Fine. You do that. I'll do this. Start putting stuff out. I'll, I'll help with the restocking. Now that we have John on the uh, register. Hey. Have a there minute. We hey. There we go. There we are. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Hey, have a minute. There we go. Hey. Hey, have a minute. <laughs> Hi, thank you. All right, there we go. Over here, put the handhelds. Don't forget the handhelds. Never forget the handhelds. People like the switches here. They absolutely love the switches. There we go. All right, and then we'll do this. Push it through. Hey. Thank you. Nokia's. Bring out the Nokia's. We actually increased the minimum storage for those Nokia's too. So if they sell out today even more, then people love the Nokia's. Think about bringing in more VR's too. We have a couple of VR's on our other, right? We don't have laptops and we need to get the laptops in. We, I, we don't need people stealing our monitors either. Did, what the hell? Didn't I just like fill this up? I just filled that up, right? Oh my Lord. Excuse me. Do they already use the PlayStations? Oh my Lord. Christian's on a break. This is incredible. We are killing it now. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is so much. So many people. So much is happening. Thanks. Thank you. Crazy, dude. Absolute crazy. Hi. Oh, I'll sit here for a sec. I'll let the store run. Excuse me. Hi. Hey. Thank you. I think what's that, like, honestly, we have like such a high Thanks. demand. The demand here is crazy. Look at these register queue issues. We have queue issues. We have question marks. We have this. We have that. Having a second register might have to be a thing. My God, look at this. It's the advertising. The advertising is what's what's putting us a, us in a in a spiral here. Look at that. another person asking for a register. Another person over there asking for a register. I might plop a register right here just real quick. 
This is insane. John's trying to keep up. First day on the job, he's getting slammed. He's getting Grand Slam Denny style, dude. This is crazy. Excuse me. Oh, thanks. Excuse me. Hey, got a second. This is this store is doing way better than it need than it should be. Not that it should be, but way better than um like hey, I don't know. It's overperforming its own self. It. Hey, for sure. Way overperforming. Thank you. Hey. I'll just sit here and wait till John to get off break. I love that my first employee became my daily manager, then I moved her up to sales manager, to an area manager, to financial manager, and finally becoming a, my corporate manager. Yeah, that's a good feeling, isn't it? Like, working throughout the ranks. I did that in the uh, Season 2 series, I believe, which was super fun, super cool. It's always good. I mean, the money's good, right? You just chick-ching, chick-ching, chick-ching all day, dude. Excuse me. John's gonna ask for a raise. You know what? I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't bl blame him now. It, it, like, he's like, my, the, my first day on the job, I get hired during the Black Friday sale. I wonder if, like, experimenting, right? Experimenting with, like, increasing prices, like, overcharging these people. I wonder if that would ever, like, work. Has anybody ever tried, like, overpricing their items when their demand was so high? Got a second. Awabajo, Awabajo. Hi, I'm new here. Hopefully, I said your name right. How you doing? I need to buy the place and expand the store. It's getting crowdy, uh, crowded in there. I know, right? It is. I, I do need to buy the store out outright. Excuse me. We just have a hard time keeping stuff on the shelves. It is what it is. It's a good thing. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a great thing. But my lord, it's a lot of work for sure. A little help. Hey, Shorty, how you doing? Hope all is well. Hope everything is good and hope you're doing and hope you're staying safe. Thanks. Hey. We might hit 27k. We have nothing else to restock. And then the hard part about all this, right, is that the more and more we order, the more hard of a time we have back here because our storage room is so limited as it is because we can't expand the walls out yet. You tried the higher prices, it works a while. Didn't try long that that though, uh, only a few days. Why are you not helping the ones who are shaking their hands? Oh, just cause it's like, it's, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> I let my people do it. I mean, I mean, I, I could do it, but it won't make a big difference. Okay. So once again, probably a raise, right? Email, let's see. Daryl, Daryl needs a day off. I agree. I agree, Daryl. You do need a day off. I, 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 a hundred percent agree. So, uh, with that being said, I guess we're going to have a supplement of money. We're going to have good profits here. I'm going to increase the playstations. I'm going to increase the computers, the fours. Now we're going to increase our minimum storage flat out. I will purchase, uh, laptops now bring those in. I think we did this one. Yeah, we did this one. And I think we did... I love the blue one. The blue one is really cool. You know what? Let's just do that one. The red and the blue one. We'll do the red and the blue one. We'll go... Two. We'll go two on those for now. Two on those. That will give us 24. Maybe, maybe I'll do more. Maybe I'll do more here. Yeah, the red one is cool. Maybe I'll do more. There we go. 25 four. 25 four. We'll have $90 left over. We need to give Daryl a day off. So we'll say, sure, Daryl, take a day off, which means tomorrow. Daryl will have a day off. So that means a less we have, you know, one less on our salesperson. Let's see if we have anybody. Let's see if we have anybody. FM fan. Part time in a restaurant. Is that right? FM fan? Let's see about that. Oh my god. Your skills are killing me. They are killing me. They're killing me softly with his You're not even a salesperson. Um that hurts. That hurts a lot. I'll bring you in at 
eight dollars an hour you want more nine dollars an hour you want more ten dollars an hour you're only good at doing cash no wait sorry that's not you wait what where wait whoa 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 where's fm fan was it duplicated by kaylee did kaylee just duplicate fm fan see there's a bug right there still even that that's a bug <laughs> okay i think that's right right because now fm fan's not there right yeah f that's a big f right there ah big bug okay thor a uh, Th thargor 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 um security could be good do an interview maybe we're gonna have a security guard but he's wearing a red t-shirt that actually works out but uh, he does have very good in sales too women's tops he's good at women's tops 13 12 dollars we'll do 12 dollars 13 dollars 14 dollars okay 14 dollars have him at security we could hire him as a security guard oh i'm gonna hire him i'm gonna put him somewhere i don't know where yet but i'm gonna put him somewhere put him somewhere uh markeisha fascinated in security kendall okay that might be our security guard then grateful wages okay eight dollars an hour ten dollars an hour okay low 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 but has a passion for security so this might be our security person even though they might not be good they'll get good we'll make them good so we'll hire them i know what you're thinking you're like holy crap you're hiring a bunch of people right yeah 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 but it's gonna be good okay so what we're sitting at now is we have a team a security guard so team a security guard come in the same time everybody else does i don't think anybody's gonna steal right in the morning in real life people sometimes did steal like right as we opened but you know <laughs> people are sons of guns i tell you what okay we're gonna go like this we'll have a break at 1500 we're gonna need a bigger break room i tell you what there's gonna be three people in there i think taking breaks so we need a bit bigger break room uh this probably will be the last time i spend a lot of money on um well actually no i take that back i'm not i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna say never so never mind what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the money I have for the corporation. Maybe pay, well, pay the loan back through the corporation, but also um, use that money to eventually buy out the store as well. Thargor will start to be our B team, but he will, you know what? No, yeah, he will start to be our B team. That's what we're going to do. Here we go. Break. Okay. B team. So, Thargor, you will do B team. I don't know why I scheduled them for everything then. I shouldn't have. Okay. Um, Thargor, your days off are Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesdays mondays and then daryl your days off are fridays saturdays and sundays that's that what's today tuesday okay tomorrow i will have one salesperson in that is it one salesperson that is it patiana see yeah you see here three people Taking a break at the same time. We can actually fix that. Kind of lighten the load there a bit. There we go. That lightens the load a bit. Okay. I like it. So now we're starting to do the B team. Slowly but surely. Good. Advertising is going well. We should be getting hit with a bunch of XP here. I think we're fine. Go to the next day. Woo! So far, I've lost half my food by the end of the day. The rest will go bad. Really? All because of the power being out, right? That's terrible to hear. I'm so sorry to hear that. I really am. So sorry to hear that. Um, 
Let me just hang on a sec, guys. Uh, I am getting a, I'm getting a phone call. Will you guys just like give me one moment, please? Um, just give me half a second, real quick, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, it's kind of important. So give me one moment, please. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. We're back. Okay. Hey, Leanne. How you doing, Leanne? The orange uh, screen laptops sell the best from my experience. Enjoying watching you play these different games. Very good, Leanne. Very good. I'm glad you are. It's good to see you. Um, so yeah, fourteen thousand dollars. So I guess what I could do is I could take the the fourteen thousand. I don't know how it works. No, this is fine. We'll go and take it to the bank. We'll take it to the bank and see if we can do this now, right? See if we could do this now and go about that. Pay it back. There it is. Repay the loan. They took the money from me. Okay. Well, I mean, there's our loan. Our loan has been paid back. Will it make a drastic difference in our situation? I don't know. Will we see a difference in uh, daily fees or things like that? I don't know. But it's paid. The loan has been paid. Very good. Uh, okay, let's go over here and see where we're at here. So again, 10 days we have since the last visited we last visited this place $2,800 now it's dropping lower and lower and lower um, as we continue here So what I'm gonna probably do coming back into this store is I'm gonna have to like appoint somebody as a daily manager I don't know who yet, but I have to do it to somebody Okay, let's go in Let's make a killing today, apparently, because that's all we do now is just make a killing. I'll just sit aside, wait for it all to come through, drop it like it's hot, all that good stuff, you know? All right, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. Imagine you got scammed by the bank. That would be the worst thing. But like, thank you for the $8,000, but also, like, a second. F off. <laughs> They're like, we're going to take your money, but politely F off, please. Okay, I got this. Yeah, I will do this if the other restocker will get that little bit or restock on the floor. John hopefully comes in before somebody whistles, and which I think is right. Okay, nobody whistled. That's good. Restocker will go out and restock. I'll take the bigger load. They will all do it. It will be automatic behind me, behind my back. Should be fine. Okay. You get scammed by the bank, those sons of guns. I tell you what. Thanks. All right. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh God, I'm super nervous. I, I think I'm nervous because I don't want. Oh wait, you go you didn't deliver all the stuff. Okay. I think I'm super nervous because I don't want like, I don't want all my stuff to sell out. Even though I do. It's a it's a weird it's a weird it's a weird thing here. Okay, so we have someone working security now, right? So people that are gonna try to steal, hopefully there will be an ass whooping in place. 
That's all I can hope for. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, yes, the laptops are now out and about. That's good to see. Look at those bright blue ones. My God. I would love a bright blue laptop like that. That'd be really cool. Okay, VR. They're having a little bit of issues on the register. They are having more queuing issues. Is it time to have another register? Well, I don't even have room to have another register. So I don't know the, I don't know the answer to that. But I will see if our... Dude, the consoles are already sold out that fast. That's six of them. I sold five consoles. I should be in the console business, no? My God. Yeah, I should be in the console business. We sold six consoles. Look at this. Nope. He's thinking about it. Almost six consoles in like two hours. I mean, they are the PS5s. They are going out there. <clears throat> Come on now. Let's go. There you go. There's all the consoles. Gone. Gone. So out of all these people, who would I make? Oh God. 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 Hey, oh God. Help. Hang on. There we go. Who would I make a daily manager? I probably will make the guy I hired the first time. Yeah. The first person I hired. That's probably going to be my daily manager. Go back at it, John. Look at all these people. Holy crap. This is crazy. <laughs> this is insane. You actually got an overdraft fee today in your bank? Excuse me. I had a black and red laptop before. I actually liked the brand so much. I ended up buying the desktop I now use uh, for them. What, what, which, which brand is that? First person? Let's do it. Thanks. Why am I shorter than everybody? It's like real life. I feel like I'm shorter than everybody. I am shorter than everybody. Gosh darn it. Even in video games, I can't be taller than anybody. Can you help me? I fail. But well, this is pretty cool, nonetheless. Hey. Hey. HP Omen. Oh, an HP Omen. If it's always something that works for you, right? You always stick with it, right? If it didn't disappoint you, continue. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Right? Kind of thing. Sometimes people change because they're pressured to or they're told to. And then they end up not liking a certain brand or this or that or that or this, right? Whoa. We have 30... $2,000. Everything sold out except for the cell phones. My God. What a great day. It has just happened. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Mr. Daryl. That's what it was. Daryl, I think he might be prime candidate for daily manager. I think. Skills. He is up there. He does specialize in computers. I think he might be our daily manager. Uh, Daryl, I need to go to the other store. Would you mind running this? Let's negotiate this. Hang on a sec. So the problem about hiring a daily manager, one thing about a daily manager is when you, at least in the old game, when you have a daily manager, they're going to cost a lot of money an hour, right? And so when you're at a store, you don't want them to ever work. You, The only time you want them to work is in a simulation aspect. So if I make him a daily manager, that means I lose a salesperson because I'm never going to work him when I'm here, right? So I'm going to lose a salesperson if I do that. So let's see here. Do I have anybody to replace him? I'm chemo. There we go. I'm chemo. Uh, that might be someone. Uh, Queenisha? 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 Let's do that. Let's see where we're at with I'm chemo. Sales. Perfect. Something just happened outside. Something just happened. You hear that? My God. Okay. Sales. Grateful. Perfect. Charismatic. Even better. Okay. This is great. It's all right, Bella. It's okay. It's okay. $11 an hour. I'm hiring this guy. There we go. Okay. 
Go for it. I'm a big fan of Aces. Aces is good. Yeah, Aces is good. Okay. Uh, Tawana, Tawana, for many years in a hardware store. Teach systems at a uh, teach storage systems at an evening school. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm starting. Oh, even grateful again. This is great. What I'm doing here is kind of again bringing up the the B team, building them up more, so that our A team can finally get days off and things like that, and people will be more productive. So you will be hired. Tough one. You will be hired either for restocking or cashiers. Let's see here. Cashier or restocking. Hey, Eileen. How you doing? Okay, Chemo. You're going to be A team. And you're going to be replacing our daily manager, basically. You will start work here. You will have a break. And you'll do all that. Break, 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 break. Breaker, breaker. Okay. So... You are a team. I don't know why. I did it again, didn't I? I did it again. Why did I do that again? Day off, Sunday, Saturday, Friday. So you will work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's what you'll do. Okay. Juana. Juana Kenyon. Juana Kenyon either is going to be a registered person or a restocker. For the B team. You will be... B team either or um i'll do probably register we'll do register here we go again i did it again good god day off there day off there day off there okay you'll work those days you will start work at 11 a.m and you will have a break at 1400 that's what you'll do okay so we have that so we have a register we have a salesperson for the b team that's all we have. We don't have a security. We don't have a restocker. Um, five years at a assistant manager. Let's see here. Marketing and security? Possibly. Possibly. How much are you offering? $15 an hour? I guess I can make you a security. Diamond Bosher. Bosher? Bosher. Is an incredible freaking person that I want to send to the uh, HQ. We'll hire him. Send him to the HQ. I will then hire Quinisha to work security. Not really like marketing right now is such an afterthought because we're selling everything all the time so i'm not even worried about that security security there we go nope damn it i did it again b team security start your work there there and there and you will have a break on the 1600 hour okay so that's what we'll do so we have everything except for a restocker now, I think, for the B team. And I don't think I have an option for a restocker here, really. Sales director? Oh, my God. And advertising? Oh, my Lord. Now I got to look at him. You're just incredible, flat out. Mobile devices and computers and you're demanding wages. F and F and F. But you're a techie. You call it. You're just awesome. 17 an hour. 23 an hour. You're great all around. You're probably going to go straight to the HQ. You can restock the hell out of the shelves, too. Okay. So, let's see here. Diamond and Kayshawn, both, both will have days off all the way through. I will send them to... The HQ, maybe. We'll see. And we'll see where that takes us. Now, it's always better to send employees off to the HQ when they have a familiarity. When they're more familiar with the job, it's better for, for everyone. But it's fine. Send the application off. 
Okay, so there we go. Two applications being sent there. One restocker. Let's see. Are you a restocker by any chance? Not really. Okay. I'm not for it. Okay. Minimum storage now. Let's get that in. Let's finish that up. Order that. $25,000. Honestly, probably up the up up the amount, right? More units. The only problem is, is that we don't have enough storage. So maybe what I do is I don't. Maybe I just keep it where it's at and I pocket seven thousand dollars so that I can buy the store outright in the future. Maybe that's what I'll do. Instead. And that's probably what I'm gonna do. So there we go. Okay. With all that being said, Corporation will take $3,700. We should get a level up, and we do. Grand Store at level 24. Concept points at 18. That's two away from a new concept. $10,000 of the Corporation. We will go to the city. We will go to the HQ. We will do this, and we will do that. Um, so let's do that. There we go. This is not where I wanted to go. Not here. <laughs> not there no 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 so it is actually kind of i'm curious um uh, that since the the pay the pay oh yeah i did forget my daily manager did i damn it um i'll go back to that store then um but it is interesting that since we have our loan available to us we can get eight thousand dollars if we want to kind of just like speed the process up a bit right i don't know how that's gonna work though so let's see here. Let's go up here. Two skill points to dump into this mofo. Um, increases the speed at which your staff learn new skills. Adds a bonus to reputation from sold articles. Newly opened stores. Increases the need of customers visiting your store. Let's do increases the speed at which your staff learns new skills. That seems pretty good. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Let's see our... People, see if they're good enough for the jobs that we have, hopefully. Now, the campaigns, I, I don't know anything about the campaigns. That's what kind of scares me a bit. Okay, so let's see here. Craig Silva. Nope. Okay, Sean. Okay, Diamond. Will Diamond be a good corporate manager? I mean, no. Uh, financial manager, possibly. Area manager, yes. Sales manager, don't need it. Marketing manager, eh. Area manager, he has full this. For area manager so adds a bonus to the optimism of your staff which is good uh so we don't have to worry about them not being productive right i like that let's go to kashan kashan marketing manager incredible uh he would be a higher chance of customers entering your store based off of their needs very good financial manager eh, not bad uh, he would get reduced prices from your from your article suppliers and corporate manager not bad as well he would increase the speed at which your managers learn new skills you would probably be a market marketing manager. So let's start the interview on that. This is going to increase our, how dare you show up to the interview with the same shirt as me? What are you trying to do? Some psychological thing to me here. Um, our daily expenses for the corporation is going to really change here. 384 F 488. That's good. So $488 a, a day. Additionally, is how much we're going to spend on this gentleman. That's fine. That's all right. I think it's worth it in the end, honestly. And then let's bring in Diamond to do area manager. And then we can, you know, increase our skills as time goes. Holy crap. Diamond, 455. Just a tad bit more. 467. Sure. Okay. So roughly around 900, between nine to a thousand, 900 to a thousand dollars is how much more we're spending every single day at the corporation level now. Just about until I hire these fools. Uh, let's go area manager, internal, diamond, send it. Hire. Marketing manager, internal, Kishan, send it. There we go. Cool. So now we have some area managers for our Kansas Shack. We don't have a corporate manager and we don't have a financial manager. It is what it is. Okay. Um, that's good. I, I'm happy about that. These numbers over here, I think are BS. Don't worry about those numbers. They're not real. They're not real numbers. Let's go up to the top. 
Let's see how they're doing. Make sure they settled in. Yep, settled in. Very good. Settled in. Very good. Settled in. Very good. Cool. All right. With that being said, let's head back to our other store. Not our other store. Let's actually head back to the second store because we didn't do the uh, daily manager. We got to do that one more time. Got to make sure that's all squared away. And then we will head back to our first store and see what the haps are going on there. $2,700 a day now there. So that's bad. But look at that. $14,000. That store has $14,000. So if we were to transfer just $12,000 of that, that would give us $22,000 as a corporation, which means we would be able to buy out our second store 100%. Very close. Very close to doing that. Very, very close. Indeed. Super excited. Things are going. Things are going, right? Things are definitely working. Dun, 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 and now even sitting here today with twenty five hundred dollars, I mean, I could, I could be, you know, someone and just start spending money just because. <laughs> I'm not happy. Give me a bigger one. Give me a bigger one. Give me a bigger one, please. Hello, welcome to the store. I assure you, we're open. Hey, Make it spicy. That was from Queen back in uh, last year. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I will. I will help with this. I will do this. Uh, ooh. Uh, Mainem, Mainem, how how you doing? Hopefully, I said your name right. Mainem, 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 how you doing? Hi. One thing we haven't ran into is a uh, storage stocking issue, which I guess I mean, we haven't ran into. Holy hell. Everybody came in today. Uh, I'm Chemo came in today. Kodamal came in today. Daryl came in today. I think I, I did it, uh, switch I'm Chemo's uh, uh, schedule. So that's that's my bad. Hey, I'm going to switch I'm Chemo. But hey, at least we can see what the store is going to be like with three salespeople today. That's one thing. Thank you. Keep coming. Good store, thank you. So we have three salespeople on the floor. Hey. Thanks. Help out. Help out over here. No laptops. Uh, did I not put a minimum storage for the laptops? Thank. Hey. A little help. There we go. Can you help me? Hey. Okay. A little bit of upset. I get it. A little bit of upset. People at the uh, at the register waiting too long. I will probably take over for John's spot here in a sec. Got you, John. Look at that. Very good. Thanks. Yeah. There, we might need to put in a seven. I don't know. A seven Q, possibly. This is crazy, dude. I tell you what. The more questions that are answered through sales, the more people we have standing in line. No, the laptops, look, the laptops were in. I think the laptops just like came, like, I think they just came and gone that fast. Because I do see a laptop on the table. That person just grabbed a laptop. I have not heard any whip happening Thanks. from security, so I don't know if it's hey. if it's working or not. Thanks. Sorry, John. I'm like taking over your job now. Go, John. Hi. Thank you. We got a level up there on Daryl, I believe. That's good. That's our future daily manager, who is productivity is getting low because I think he's just been working too much. Thanks. Thank you. Hey. Excuse me. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Can you help me? Yeah, a second register would definitely uh, be be something. Uh, we just don't have a lot of room here. We need to buy out the store first, and then bring in a second register. Thank you. Once we buy out the store, then we'll push back some walls and things like that. We'll we'll add uh, two registers. Hey, can you help? Thanks. Hey, got a second. Hey, got a second. Thank you. Thank you. Almost done. I mean, you could say, yeah, having three sales per people did help, but really kind of didn't matter because there was already too much uh, line taking up action and too much queuing action, I guess, for the register. $36,000. Oh, baby. It's going to be very heavy on the wages, though. So we might actually buy out that store now. We might have enough. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where we sit. Okay. Fix this up a bit, though. Uh, Kendall... You are the A team, so therefore you shall be 
off of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm Chemo, wherever he went. There he is. I'm Chemo. You should be rolling. Are you A team? Yeah, you are A team because you're filling in for Daryl. Daryl shouldn't be there because Daryl's going to be the daily manager. Yeah, Daryl. Daryl, you have days off every day. There we go. And then we go Daryl to manager. And we don't ever want to see Daryl inside of the store because he's going to cost a lot. There we go. Daryl has skill, skill upgrades available. Is that right? Did, did I not see that? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Demand. Confident. Demand. Confident. Demand. Confident. Demand. Confident. Demand. Confident. Demand. Confident. 16% sounds so much. I'll renegotiate. 16% just like means like it is this is this is so much. Yeah. I feel like it is. Let's look at him first. Daryl. Don't really want to do segment trading. Mobile devices. I haven't really gone over the perks. $3,200? What the frick? Work, work, work. Always starts the day with extra productivity boost. Maybe. Okay, we'll do that. Buzzing atmosphere can create a productivity bonus when surrounded by customers, by many customers. Okay. $3,200. Go do that. But at the same... We're really investing into this guy. Ah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this guy. Hey, Kamal. How you doing, Kamal? This guy. I tell you what. This is why you don't want to be here when they work. $47 an hour with a... Now he's asking for 20%. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I guess 16% now in hindsight wasn't too bad, but still, I don't know. 16% feels like so much. It does. One of the new features in this game with the whole like daily manager taking a percentage is such a difficult, difficult thing to, uh, to accept. Kind of. It is. It is a difficult thing to accept. We'll try it one more time. All right, one more time. I wonder if I, if I were to give him a higher wage, if he would take less of a percentage. Let's try that out. If I were to give him, let's say, $70 an hour, would you take a lesser percentage? You will not. You like to F me, don't you? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, well, well 18%. We'll sign it with 18%. I know what you might be thinking. $70 an hour, that's insane, right? Right, but he's not going to be working ever when we're here. He only gets paid hourly when he's on the floor, on the sales floor, I believe is how it goes. So there's our daily manager. Just to double check, he works no days, right? He works no days. And that will be that. First, there's a raise. Then there's a negotiation to maybe lower that asking salary. Uh, Code them all feeling sick. That's fine. I wonder if they fix the rate of people getting sick because uh, we haven't had that many yet. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the um, orders brought in again. Twenty five thousand. Not make any changes. Pocket six k probably. Check his salary. Seventy dollars an hour. Okay, what are we missing? Um, we're missing, because it is going into the B shift, yeah. Do I have to schedule them for the day? Oh, 
Okay. Friday. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, FM fan. Appreciate that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so they'll, they'll, they'll go on that course now. Um, Friday. Thursday. Okay, Friday. This is what we have. John McRae. You're the A team. So, John, technically you shouldn't be working. So, we need you to get off of that. So, John, you need to not work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Christian Lynn, you are the A team as well for a greeter. So you shouldn't be working Friday, Saturday, Sunday also. Thargor, you are the B team. Tatiana, you are the A team. We need a restocker. Tawana, you are the B team. And you are the security. So we need one salesperson for the B team, I think. And one restocker. So let's see if I can find that right now. Daryl may quit because of his optimism. Okay. Good shout. If I have to play, replace him, I'll replace him. That That's his doing. He just got an incredible offer. His optimism should be skyrocketing. Let's go here. This is actually a really good person, too. Let's see what you're doing. Mary Beth. Maybe not as good as I thought. You can do restocking, but $19 an hour for a restocker seems a little too ridiculous. We'll try again. Fascinated by payment system. That's not what we need. Hayden. Evening restaurant or at evening at evenings in restaurants while studying. Okay. What are you good at? Register. F. No, thank you. I guess we'll give the other person a try. Uh, M. Zarella, M. Zarella, M. Zarelda, M. Zarella. Grateful, but terrible. F. So, who are we going to be missing going into the B series? We could keep Tatiana for one day, at least, so that we can restock that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we need an extra salesperson. We could do with another greeter, but... I think it's fine for now. It's fine for now. We'll pocket the 6k. We'll pocket the 6k. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll pocket the 6k. We'll pocket the 6k. We'll go to the corporation. We'll go to the new store. Not the new store. The first store. And see how everything's going there. There's so many going. There's so many things going on here, right? Absolutely. We are now a grand store, F. That's gonna hurt us. Not hurt us, but like hurt us as in like more people will come, right? $12,000. Let's go to the city. What we can do, we can do this simply. Go to the HQ first. Transfer funds over. Maybe give us enough money to pay off our building. Right? Uh, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. Now, hang on a sec. Watch this. Watch this real quick. Let's walk outside. Let's see what our daily manager actually does here real quick. Walk outside. Our daily manager, if we were not to go to the second store, would be doing $3,700 a day. It's decent, right? It's money. It's decent. So that's good to know. Um, not the best, but it's decent. So that's good. Okay, now let's go ahead and see where we stand here. One more point remaining until we can unlock a whole nother concept, whether it be groceries, women's wear, men's wear, etc. And then here, let's see here. So in our second store, we have $3,000 over there. Let's go ahead and withdraw 1500 of that. And then let's go to the other, sorry, let's go to the other store now. How much do they have? They have $15,000. If I just transfer 10 of it, we'll be able to buy our place out. 
that 10,000? I think that is. 10,000. $24,000 all day. You know what? Let's actually withdraw two more thousand. Two more thousand. There we go. $26,000. So now we can buy out. We can buy out our, um, our store now in our second store, which is good. That's going to save us $1,000 a day, which is insane. Nobody needs a level up. That's good. Optimism still seems pretty strong. That's good. Women's clothing. Is it going to be named uh, Can Secrets? You'd best believe it will be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, right. Let's buy out that building. Let's do it. So let's go up here. Let's say, hey, I would like to buy this for $22,000. Thank you. Sign my life away. Appreciate it. You are now the new owner. Yes, yes, yes. So we bought out the second store. Let's go and reset our first store. Head back there and see it. You don't even want to know what's in canned secrets. You don't. You don't want it. Trust me, you don't want it. All right? You don't. Oh, my God. I haven't been here in a freaking hot minute. Uh, yeah, this is back before I, like, took out all the lights because of lighting issues. Now I think we're good, right? I guess we'll find out. Light. 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 Nice. Honestly, I haven't really, like, uh, noticed any, uh, performance problems today either. So, that's good. Whatever this hotfix did, might have done something. I don't know. Okay. Now, I don't even know who, who the hell is showing up today. I'll be honest with you. I haven't been here in a hot minute. Don't know who's showing up. Don't know who's working. Am I the only one working today? I have no idea. We'll have to see. Is there products coming in today? Great question. Delivery coming in. Okay, it is. People are coming in. Great. Cool. Nice. <clears throat> we got it. Drop it off, my good man. Thank you. Uh, we have, I think, significantly less products here, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's say we have less products here than we do at the other store, but I'm not sure. I just know it's not as busy because it's a low populated area compared to a medium popularity, popularity area uh, like the other store. This is a very low pop area. The other place is a very, is medium. Um, I should probably like think about changing the color of the wallpaper in the stock room. I will say the drywall is just not happening, right? Have you ever considered keeping more stock in the back? I have, but there's always a rule of thumb in retail. Thanks. Um, hey, a little help. It's, it, 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 it's, it's a dumb thing, but it's something that we did in retail. Well, when, when I ran my own store back between the years of 2015 and 2020, 2020 before COVID, um, there's a rule of thumb. If a product sits on a shelf for more than 30 days, it is no longer profitable. Thanks. And it's true. I know it's not going to happen in this game, but I always, I always take, I try to mix in real life theories and real life things with this game too. So if you have products sitting in the back, um, it depends on how long that product is back there and you lose profit in real life Hi. if you have a product that came in and it has sat on the show for 30 days it will no longer make you any profit anymore because that product has to pay for its place that product has to pay for its utility that product has to pay for its lighting its plumbing and all that i know it's weird right it's like if a, a shoe, a pair of shoes has to pay for its own plumbing, has to pay for its own utilities, has to pay, pay for its own rent, right? And after 30 days, if that shoe doesn't pay for its rent, doesn't pay for its plumbing, doesn't pay for its utility, then it is no longer profitable. It's kind of like a, uh, it's something that, uh, it, something pe people don't really realize, right? But, um, yeah, it, it, I, I kind of, I tried my best, like, I, I could game it really if I wanted to, game it, game it if I want, but I like to kind of put a little bit of real life aspects to it, 
Yeah, the product is 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 your tenants, so to speak. They need to pay you. They need to pay you by month. And if the product doesn't pay you by month, you lose money. It's not that you don't lose money. You just don't make a profit, right? Um, your money is just you break even almost, almost, depending on what your markup is. Depending on what your markup is. Back then, we used to run a markup about 50%, 50, 60%. Never did like 100%. Hardly did 100%. The only time we did 100% markup is if it was an item that was exclusive. And if it was an item that was almost damn near essential where people had to have it all the time and it would sell out all the time. I know it's terrible to, sound, to hear, right? Um, you mark up big things on people that constantly buy the same thing over and over in the retail business yeah <laughs> however i do not approve of people marking up water bottle cases 200 percent when there's natural disasters that's just scummy right that's terrible there's grocery stores there's hardware department stores that have before had a case of water that they marked up 200 percent because they knew there was a natural disaster coming and they knew that people were going to need water. Now that, that's kind of dickish. That's really dickish. Don't do that, right? Of course, but on an average medium, when most of your stores have 50% markup and then you say, oh, maybe one or two items here, maybe could be 70, 80, 90, 100%, right? Hey, Someone stole something? Well, they better not. We have security and we have a security system in. It better not to steal something. Thanks. Profiting off someone suffering, not cool. Yeah, not cool at all. When we had the wildfires here, I think last year, I think there was a store here that like overcharged the hell out of water bottles. And they got caught. And I don't know if it's a legal thing. I think it is a legal thing. I don't think you can do that when a state is in an emergency, a state of emergency, right? I don't think it's a legal. I think it's a legality, a legality issue when people do that. Hey, there we go. There's the security. I heard it go off that time. Um, but yeah, I think it's a legality issue. There's the whip. There we go. All the sound effects are happening here. They're not happening at the other store. Thanks. That shoe needs to get out and get a job. Exactly. It needs to be on somebody's foot. <laughs> That one dude at the start of the pandemic who got raided by the FBI with a storage full of sanitizer, TP, and masks. I didn't even hear about that. Is that like an, uh, uh, something that, that actually happened? Was he like reselling them or something? Is that what happened? Yeah, price gouging Price gouging during a state of emergency is not a, uh, not a good thing. Uh, I think it does come with consequences. Very big consequences. If not, consequences and... Maybe, I mean, if any, if anything, yeah, consequence, but it could be, like, when it, when a company does it, they probably get slapped with, like, a fine, you know, and that's it. Just, hey, here's, here's a $10,000 fine, don't do that again, type thing. They did the pop-up, came up in the right, bo right bottom side of the game. Oh, they, really? On the right side here? Right above my forehead? Got a second. I didn't even see that. He was reselling and rented a storage and filled it with essentials and needed items. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, uh, I could see it. I could definitely see it. I remember uh, when that, during that time, when that hit, uh, I went to the grocery nice. store. Obviously there was no toilet paper, right? And, but there was like no meat, right? All the meat was gone. All the pantry items were gone. Everything was gone. Hi. But I think for like society, at least for me, I don't know. I, I don't know if I speak for a lot of people, but at least for me, I never would have thought hey, toilet paper. <laughs> I was not thinking toilet paper. Like if I were, if I were to go over that entire experience again, Thank you. I, I still wouldn't think, oh yeah, toilet paper should be the top 
top priority. <laughs> top priority. It makes sense, but at the same time, I just... Thank you. That is not the first thing I would have thought to get. I would have thought to get, like, food, you know? So when that happened and all that happened, and realizing people did, uh, did get and did sell out the toilet paper, I was like, oh. Huh. <laughs> Strange. Interesting. All that kind of stuff. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? I think they almost all disappeared because uh, uh, people needed them. Uh, bought them with a great amount. Yeah. I tell you what, though. Those toilet paper companies probably had seen the greatest profit margin ever in the history of toilet paper making ever. That's one thing that will never go out of style, I don't think, is toilet paper. Something that's been around for, like, what, over 100 years? A technology that has never evolved, that has always stayed consistent for the most part. And after the TP was gone, Amazon was marking up uh, bidets. The $30 bidet I bought was selling for $90? Really? I had no idea. I had no idea. Now, now that, that that's an interesting interesting point because you gotta you gotta see if it's straight from Amazon or if it's from an Amazon seller. Because if it's Amazon doing it, that's obviously bad uh, juju. But if it's like an Amazon seller where it's like a third party doing it, then obviously, you know... Amazon's their platform they're selling on, but yeah, I, I know some people that, uh, you know, got bidets because of the situation. They, they said they never went back. They said they never went back. So we made about $16,000, $15,000, which you might be like, oh, that's not a lot. Well, this store, it's a lot, right? This store, it is a lot. Now, the only reason why we were here was simply, what the frick? There's two things going on here. Hollywood film shooting. Uh, starting to tomorrow, we suspect the celebrity segment to go up, and tomorrow we suspect there to be tourists in town. Uh, 20 tourists of the labor segment. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Minimum storage, 9,600. Fill that in. Here we go. I kind of want to stay here and kind of enjoy that segment and that, uh, that tourist, I guess. We'll probably do one more day here. But really, we're just kind of, like, getting in the, uh, the profits and things like that. Uh, what do we have going on? We have Aladdin, Security, Sales, Restocker. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Apparently, our daily manager is a black box. So, watch out for that. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm not going to do any advertising. I'm going to pocket the money I have for the most part. Keep it. Hold on to it. And send some of it to the uh, um, corporation. Because the corporation needs a little bit of money now, considering the fact that we just bought that entire store, that other store. Hey, look at that. Kansas Track and the second store has now leveled up. Very cool. Now we have 20 points, and we can actually get into a whole nother concept if we want to as well. Nice. I didn't hoard TP, but then when uh, we needed it, uh, had a heck of a time buying some. I'm right there with you, Susan. I'm I'm in the same boat. I even if I had the choice, I, I didn't even have the choice to hoard TP. Like before, I even knew what the hell was going on. All all of it was gone anyway. So it's not like I even had a choice either. I was borrowing. I will say I was like bor <laughs> borrowing. <laughs> I was uh, friends and family were giving us some, which was cool. <laughs> But, you know, probably a third party seller, but the warehouse ones were probably sold out. Yeah. My dad taught me and my mom how to use corn cobs in place of TP. When that happened, we now keep six months worth of TP on hand now. <laughs> I was buying dumbbells as they came into stores and selling them privately. Dumbbells, what? Like, um... The, the weight, right? The weight dumbbells. Are you talking about that? Like, people working out in their house? Because people didn't, people couldn't go to the gym or anything, you know? Right? I shared the clip where someone stole something on the Discord. Okay, alright. Thank you for that. Come on now, let's go. Pull it out, pull it out. Thank you. 47. 
Not a lot, but we have a full store for the most part, so we're good. Dumbbells were a hot item. Interesting. I'm trying to think of, like, what was a hot item. Around in my area, at least. I don't know. During that time, I kind of just, like, I was... I was really depressed during that time. But I'm not, like, the only one, of course. Like, there was a lot of people that were. But, like, specifically, I was, like, shattered. And all that. Uh, mostly because, you know... Um, I lost everything. <laughs> I lost everything job-wise and all that. It was actually the first time I ever went to, like, the doctor for, like, um... Hi. For, like, seconds. depression and, and all that. And, well, not the first time I went to the doctor, but first time I, I said, you know what, I should probably schedule myself. Maybe I should go in for help or something, or, or something like that. Other times, it's it, there's been other times in a different circumstance where things like that in more serious cases have happened for me, but... This was a little bit different. But even like scheduling a doctor's appointment at that time was super hard to do anyways. You know? The thief deserved what he stole. If he got past the guard and a s security system, let him have the Nokia. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you. Char Ruler, how's it going? You were the one with the dumbbells now. <laughs> hey, can you help me? So you were the one with the dumbbells. Thanks. Hey. And all during that time skyrocketed. I couldn't see my therapist for four months because she was booked so much. Yeah, like. Thank you. It's like. If everyone's kind of like, not everyone's, because some people didn't. Some people worked in, through the pandemic for the most part. Excuse not for the most part, but, you know, uh, you know, for the like the essential workers Excuse and things me. like that. For, for the people that weren't, quote unquote, essential workers, because um, I guess, you know, your life is not as essential. But the people that weren't, you know, essential workers, we all lost our jobs. We all lost our freaking jobs, dude. We did. And everybody, like, all got hit at once with this mental wave. Mental hit wave. Yeah, it, it was terrible. It was very terrible. Um, and yeah, I'm not, you know, of course I'm not, I'm not the only one, right? I worked, I, I used to work, like, in retail, right? I worked, I ran my own store. We had our own family business. It was great. I worked there for half a decade. Can you help me? Nothing wrong with it. Had a good time. Had a great time. Um, I was my own boss. All those things and, and, and things like that. And um, the pandemic hit. We weren't essential anymore. We shut down for six to eight months. By then, it was already the heart, you know, the, the, the knife to the heart, right? And um, that was it. We shut down and... I had to do something, so me? after that, I picked up odd jobs everywhere, here and there. I did odd jobs, Thank you. and, you know, I did food delivery services, I did uh, labor work, odd jobs here and there, and um, I think at that time, there was a, it was a very pivotal moment in my time, Have a minute. during 2020, late 2020, where I was like, hey. I always wanted to do YouTube, hey. so Hi. I might as well give it a shot. I guess now is the best time to do it. Look at all these people asking questions. I just don't have enough salespeople. This is the tourist segment. Or, sorry, the... Yeah, the tourist segment coming in. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... I was like, well, might as well give YouTube a shot. And I started uh, giving YouTube a shot. YouTube a shot. At, towards the end of... Well, I started dedicating myself to YouTube towards the end of, like... 2020 and the beginning of 2021. I just got done being trained as a kitchen manager. One week later, COVID happened and lost my job. Oh my Thanks. God. That, mu that must have been terrible. That must have been absolutely terrible. Hi. Excuse me. Hey, can you help me? Did you ever get that job back? Did you ever get kitchen manager job back? Are you in the same, uh, like now? Are you like in the same uh, 
Same field, yeah? But yeah, it was, it was something, I tell you what. It caught all of us off guard. Everyone, everyone around the world, it caught everyone off guard. But, you know, fast forward to now, things seem to get somewhat normal, back to normal. There are some things that we take from uh, from that event that, uh, that has changed our lives a bit. I'm a software engineer and is working from home since the pandemic. Hi. And you know, the thing about working from home is that now there's a lot of jobs that kind of just switch to working at home, you know, like remote home. I mean, we all work, some of us, not all of us, but some of us mostly work remotely work from home. And when companies found out that you could remotely work from home, uh, they kind of just, some companies stayed that way. Some companies didn't. Some companies said, oh no, you got to come back into the office. Like, okay, but I, why? <laughs> you know, I did my job remotely for all these months and for, you know, a year. Why do I have to come back to the office now? Why do I have to spend the gas to travel to the office um, so that you have to pay a, a lease to keep us housed into an office? Why do I have to, you know, do all this and pay for lunch and do all this and travel here and put miles on my car and put this and that and that and this, right? Why can't I just stay home? You get rid of the building, maybe plant a couple of trees and replace the building, and you don't have to pay the overhead cost of having a lease, and maybe all your employees can stay at home. They can be a little bit happier, so they don't have to worry about social work drama if there was any, or they'll be happier because they're saving money on gas and food. Thanks. You know? Stuff like that. I ended up becoming an, an order builder at Coca-Cola. Oh, very good. I am a big fan of their products. <laughs> Being home with my lovely special needs kids with mental health issues was rough. They needed the specialized schooling and therapy. It was awful for them and me, but they suffered greatly. Oh no. Hey Bram, how you doing? Good day. Yeah, good day. How are you? Well, how are you Bram? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, kind of like taking people out of like a routine, right? I kind of go on that, Susan. Like, taking people out of routine can definitely uh, be rough and hard. And seeking professional help when they need to. And a routine professional help, uh, once that breaks, it could definitely... I can't imagine, honestly. I can't imagine how different uh, life could be, right? There we go. I just wanted to see that labor segment. Wasn't that too, too, too exciting? We'll go back to the other store. Hey, 32 here. Hooray! Milestone. We are now a hypermarket, I guess. You could say that. Coca-Cola has so much more products that I would have never known about. The warehouse is massive. Builder does about 2,000 cases a day. My lord. 2,000 cases a day. That's incredible. Totally throws them off, yeah. So, and, and it's hard to like, kind of like explain it to them, you know. I think it's a tax benefit for the major company if they keep the lease. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was thinking if you, if if anything, they want to have it for tax reasons, right? But that's that's F, man. That's F. That's big F. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I want to do this. I want to do this. Hi. Close. Do this. Seconds. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Ah! Damn it. I can't do it. It's too big. It's too big. It won't fit. It won't fit. It won't fit. 
It won't fit. I thought it was going to fit. It's not going to fit. Dang it. All right. I used to do price changes for a grocery store. We were usually 70, 80% markup. Holy crap. I don't know what the standard is for a grocery store. I wonder if 70 to 80% is normal. I really don't know what a grocery store markup price is. Or markup. I guess it maybe depends on the grocery store. Maybe depends on the area. I wonder if there's like a happy medium though. It's going amazing. Just started my own company. Oh, very good, Bram. Very good. Incredible. Very good. That's awesome. I got twice as strong as I've been working there. Oh, very good. <laughs> Getting all the cases. Now you don't need to hoard the dumbbells. You can hoard the coat cases. That's what she said. It was by cases when you do markup, not per item. Ah, I see. Okay. See, our thing was uh, per item. We didn't do per case. But again, groceries, they have mass amounts of quantity. We didn't have mass amounts of quantity. Hey, Darren, how's it going? Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're staying safe. You and the family are staying safe. Good to see you. Feels like I'm traveling back in time seeing you play King of Retail on your channel again. Old school cans for the modern days. <laughs> it's good. It's good, right? It brings back the time, right? Definitely had to show respect, right? Show respect to the full release. You know, that's one thing I had to do. Absolutely. Hey, cool help. After all, a lot of people found the channel back in the day through King of Retail. A lot of people really enjoyed King of Retail, so I felt like, if anything, I had to bring it back to some degree for the people. Excuse me. Hey, There we go. Can I put the register on the far, far wall against that left? I might be able to. Maybe. I don't know if there will be a little bit of weird interaction with the uh, tables over there. I'll have to see. There two seconds. Here we go. Let me see. Hey, wonderful help. Hey, got us. Hey, wonderful help. Excuse me. This one won't, and I don't think the other one will. Hey, hey, wonderful help. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, can you? Hey. No, I would have to push it back, which I can. Now that we own the store, we can definitely push this wall back. My God, that thing is going off, isn't it? Hey. Dunk, dong, dunk, dong, chick, ching, chick, ching. Hey. My Lord. Hi. Hey. Hi. Thanks. Hey, can you help? Seeing applicants coming in from pet stores makes me excited to see pet store become a concept. Oh yeah. Thanks. That's true. That's true. Hey. You know, it would it'd be kind of well. I think it'd be there's a whip. It'd be kind of more complicated to do it like a gas station. Hi. But like, yeah, pet store, that would be really neat. Pet store, Hi. maybe like a furniture store. Furniture store might be hard to do. Hey, can you pay? Have a minute? Excuse like me. even if like, for instance, if like the customer went in and like bought like something from a hardware store or like a furniture store and they bought like a couch and they picked up the couch with their one hand, I wouldn't mind. I don't care if, you know, break an immersion. I don't care, you know. Hey, Nicole Taylor. Nicole Taylor says, good afternoon. Still yet to buy this game, but I think I need to. Oh, very well. Very, very well. Good to see you, Nicole. Hey, can you help me? <clears throat> Karen says, I'm about 85 hours of playing King of Retail Early Access version. I have yet to play the full release. And Darren, what Darren wants a specific something, too. Darren wants a... Um, what is, you want cloud save, right? You want cloud save on King of Retail. A music store would be really cool. That's true, too. Thanks. Music store would be cool. Like a like an instrument store. Yeah, instrument store. Would be nice to have that amount in my checking right now. I know, I'm right there with you. <laughs> hey, that would be very good. Very good. I would, uh, I would have that. I would take that. I would want that. Sam Goody, the good old days. Oh, crap. Did we sell everything? No, we did not. 
No, we did sell everything. Okay. 35k though. Yeah. Sure. Let's expand the walls, shall we? Let's push it out. Thanks for the reminder. I want I want cloud save so I can easily go back and forth between desktop and laptop. I think cloud I think cloud save should like almost be on every game. Almost every game. Maybe, I don't know. Ah, yo. Yeah. Daryl. You son of a bitch. Give me a raise. Now, that's very interesting. Okay, so Daryl quit. That was our daily manager, right? Daryl quit. Which is weird. Why is it weird? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, Daryl quits. Hang on a sec. Let me, let me look into this. Give me a raise. Okay, John McRae wants, it, wants a raise. This is the thing about Daryl, right? His optimism was low, right? Obviously, his optimism was low. The problem is that I have is that we promoted him to a job and we promoted him and gave him a $70 hour job. We, we put it in the green, right? We put it in the green. We gave him a $70 hour job and then we gave him 19, 18% percent. Yeah, we gave him 18%, I think. Why would you be so damn, why would you quit that? You wouldn't quit that job, would you? I guess if you're him, you would. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Daryl's acted like a Theodore. Yeah. Well, uh, that doesn't really change anything with our brigade here, I will say. Other than we just don't have a daily manager, which means I guess daily manager is up for the next person. Which we might even be getting cheaper now. Right? Yeah. Was he working? He was actually, the last time we spoke with him, he was, um, he was doing, uh, course. He was doing a course. Yeah, he was doing a course. Yes. Why is there no cloud save? I know, right? There needs to be cloud save. You know what would be cool, now thinking about it? What would this game be like if it was to be, uh, uh, on, like, Steam Deck? Yeah? Now thinking about it. Hmm. Hmm. Steam Deck, no. Grateful. Love that. Marketing, okay. Uh, I probably will give you an offer and then hold you hold on to you. $12 an hour. If I need a marketer, I know who to go to. He's off to be the next uh, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> That's what he thinks. That's what he thinks. Eleven thousand dollars left over. Okay, so that tells me that we need to increase our minimum storage. But first, we do this. Add store area. Boom, 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 boom. Four thousand dollars. Get rid of the wall. Get rid of the wall. Change wall. Remove. Change the door, add new. Yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll kind of make it a little bit different, a little bit more spicier, no? We'll do that. Storage area. Storage area. Bigger storage area. Um, bigger break room. 7,000. What I'm going to do was tomorrow. Can I close tomorrow? Keep close tomorrow. I'm going to close tomorrow. $4,000. I'm going to close tomorrow. It's going to be a very quick close, but I'm just going to edit a couple things. That's what I'll do. I'll edit a couple things. For any of you that know about Wegmans, I'm trying to recreate it in this King of Retail. Let me hit the like button, not the person in chat named that, but the actual like button on the stream. <laughs> Supermarket. I just want to give my five cents, sir. I think you are the best gamer. Oh, well, appreciate that, bro. Ram, thank you. Thank you for that. That was very kind of you to say. 
be hard to play without the controller support. He needs the end of the day with a good mood to get his optimism up. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so today is closed. We're not having anybody come in today. We're gonna just do a little bit of design interior here. Let's do the floors, excuse me, copy the color. Thank you. And we'll go into this one, I guess, right? Yeah. I'm gonna keep this wall just to keep it different, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll put like some kind of weird corner in here, like some kind of dungeon s. What the hell? Oh. Like who just came into the store? Some kind of like dungeon s for like maybe console corner or something. I don't know. Maybe I can move the consoles down there. Copy the color. No. But it makes it feel different, right? Um, what this? Yeah, we can make this like the console corner. <laughs> Look at this. Watch me. Watch me do this. Click on it. Click on it. Hooray! I can move it. Boom. There's the PS5s. It'd be cool if you could put like half walls or something, right? Half walls. Density of the light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice dim glow. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have that. And then if we want to, I don't know how this is going to work. We can go shelving. Probably shelving. I don't think I, it would look good if I did this. Yeah, that wouldn't look good. Uh, yeah, we'll do shelving instead. Let's do... We'll do the wall shelf. Yeah, we'll do the wall shelf. That's fine. There we go. And then we'll put like more consoles on the side here. Maybe like the PlayStation 5's the holy grail, right? The PlayStation 4's on the side. <laughs> like, oh, that's the cheaper stuff. You know, not the stuff we worry about. This is the holy grail type thing. I don't know. Maybe we do something like that. I do like changing the decor in the game. It's not expensive. I know, right? I love that it's not too expensive. Doesn't hurt my pockets too much. Can I duplicate this? How the hell did I just copy and paste that? Can I just buy another one, I guess? Red one? Be like right here? There we go. Kind of like that. Yeah. Make the black, uh, make the back wall red. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Wall. Copy. Hey, like that. And then should I change the color of the light? Right? Should I change the color of the light? What a blue look like. Purple. Ooh, I kind of am a fan of the purple. I kind of like the purple, like a black light. <laughs> you can have like a black light in here. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey, how you doing? Or reset it to a regular light. Maybe a regular light's fine. That's not too bad. I don't want it to get too freaky, no? Honestly, now I'm thinking that we go like this. Now we do the back wall. Like that too. That's what I'll do. Yeah. It appears new lighting options came with the full release. Yeah. <laughs> new lighting options. Yeah. Full release. Pretty cool. It, it, it adds a little bit to it. I saw your sign, Kansas, back at Radio Shack. We have may we have some younger viewers that have never been in a Radio Shack. I know, right? I am back in Radio Shack for sure. It's 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 lovely, absolutely lovely. I'm a big fan. So I guess over here. 
Oh, what I guess I guess what I could do I could do this. We can move the handhelds over here. For right now, we'll move that over here. We'll put this. Huh. Maybe cell phones. I guess cell phones can stay right there. We'll put the handhelds over here. I guess for now. I don't really like how this looks, but it'll do for now. And then what I'll do is I'll grab one of these again. So we can expand our VRs out a bit. Yeah, we'll expand our VRs out. Uh, I don't like that. It needs to be spaced. Kind of like that. It needs to be spaced like that. There we go. Cool. I like it. Maybe fix this a bit. Maybe if I could center this a little bit. Centered. Cool. Maybe even do something with this if I wanted to. Handhelds. Right there. Maybe. It's a very awkward. It is very awkward. I'll probably have to figure something out for that. Yeah. Definitely have to figure something out for that. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. I just need to put product inside of it. Oh, don't forget a big register. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe this is what we'll do. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do... Um, we'll put consoles right here. Handhelds right here. And then what I'll do is I'll add another register. And we'll put a 5. Not a 7, but a 5. And I'll put a register, like, back here. And that will be, like, my register or something. Temporarily, until I hire a second uh, cashier. Right? That will be my register. So if this is going to be my register, we must uh, we must do what needs to be done here. Absolutely. If this is my register, that's what we're going to do. So this is mine. Nobody touches this. And they have a they know what they're what they're what they shall do. Right? They know they know the they know what's going on. There we go. Oh yeah, stock the store before you leave. Good shout. Oh god, the freaking this. I forgot about all this back here. Oh I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Yeah, I'm gonna fix the break room and, and stock room. I don't know if I have enough time to do that today. I am running very, 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 very low on time. I have an important uh, phone call I have to make here at 12.15. So I got to make sure I get it going here. And I got to get ready for this phone call. Background music of this game reminds me of the independent copyright for music that was the old Metropolis Street Racer. By the way, hello, Heavy Metal. There, This is my register. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Absolutely. There you go. I don't even know if I have enough. Do I have enough storage room for this? Hopefully I do. Storage is full. Yeah. Uh, I'll do my best real quick to, to put in as much as I can, but I do need to do need to get get it going here. I have a very very important phone call. There we go. There we go. I do plan on streaming uh, today, so or later today, uh, in like the next hour. I do not know how long my phone call will be, so if it goes longer than projected, uh, best way to know is just be in the Discord, and I'll let everybody know, right, uh, what's what's happening, what's going on. So make sure you're in the Discord. I do plan on playing Wildflowers today, so there's that. There we go. He's to finish up, get his phone call on. And he's got another stream this afternoon. Exactly. I got it. I have like a very, very small time frame right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this, this, this will, this will be, okay. That will be, I don't need to do minimum storage. I don't need to do any of that because we didn't sell anything. We just closed the store. So yeah, anyways, that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of King of Retail. If you would like more King of Retail, please make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate it. That tells me you want to see more. Um, with that being said, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. 
Uh, hope you all are, um, uh, you know, hope you all have a great rest of your evening. Weekend, have a great weekend this weekend if I don't see or hear from you uh, later on this weekend. But with that being said, it has been a day. Uh, are you liking the more streaming, less video making? I am. I am liking this uh, new format that I'm going through right now. So, yeah, I am enjoying this time. But thank you very much all for hanging out with me today while we play King of Retail. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Make sure to be in the Discord if you want updates. I do plan on streaming at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But um, it might might change 30 minutes. It might be like 30 minutes delayed or something like that, depending on what happens on my phone call here in 15 minutes. But anyways, thank you all, and I will see you all very, very soon. And do as always, take care.